Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PNP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. <laughs> hey, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm so excited to be here. Can you tell? <laughs> oh my goodness me, it's felt like so long. I want to say a big good morning to everybody that's watching and also a massive thank you to everybody who sent a lovely message while I've been off poorly. It is really, really lovely to have your support and kindness and also to have your company today here on Sewing Street. So thank you for that. Now, as a little welcome back, welcome to the world, Stuart. We're doing a little special today. Let me show you this. Now, if you shop with us today here on Sewing Street, uh, you will receive two free instructions slash patterns uh, from our archive. They'll be at random. You get two. Normally, of course, each one would be £9.99. So you're getting £19.98 of patterns for free as a lovely special. We've never ever given away two patterns. This is the biggest giveaway we've ever done for every single customer while stocks last. Um, so I feel very special for having that. Thank you, everyone. So there we go. That's rather nice, isn't it? 
literally anything you buy you'll get two free patterns today sort of one per one offer per customer while stocks last I have to say that bit anyway should we how should we start let's start we've got not one not two but three early birds Woohoo! right then well we've got a little bit of a bag making focus this morning so we're going to start this is our first early bird and it's the retro mini purse pattern and frame set now normal price 12.99 let me show you what you're getting here um, it's a gorgeous bag this and if you've never made a, a bag or a purse with a frame this is the perfect intro because you get the full pattern what a gorgeous little bag that is um, use your fat quarters I'll tell you what fabric you need in a second you get your frame you get the string basically what you do when you put the bag into the frame you put the uh, string in with a little bit of glue and uh, push it all in and that just kind of tightens everything up you can use little bits of batting as well if you haven't got the string but um, that's generally what you do fabric wise you just need for the bag the handles the, the the body of the bag and the handles you need half a yard for the lining you need a fat quarter and you need a 10 inch by 12 inch rectangle of fusible fleece or quilt batting you could use regular quilt batting now we're going to drop the price it's going below £10 it's going to 9 99 fab oh a little message to start the day morning lovely Stuart so good to have you back from Roz Mwah. thank you Roz it is really good to be back thank you another message thank you very much thank you oh so happy to see you all well Stuart big big hugs we missed you Yvonne oh thank you darling that's really lovely Alison's got in touch too to say welcome back Stuart we've missed you well I'm back I'm back I'm back thank you another message from Susan morning Stuart lovely to see you hope you're feeling a lot better and have a great show thank you Susan that's really kind um, wonderful to see you back Stuart from us in Suffolk thank you mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, Audrey's got in touch too. Yay, good morning, Stuart. So good to see you back. You've been missed, Audrey in Chorley. Thank you so much. Really, really kind. Now, remember, as a special, I'm back. Uh, we've got a special giveaway today. Every single customer who shops with us today is going to receive two free patterns or sets of instructions from our archive. Um, it could be Advent bunting and class purses. It could be something completely different. You will get two two different patterns for free that's 19 pounds and 98 pence in value there and you'll get that while stocks last one offer per customer as a as a little welcome back um, julie's got in touch welcome back stuart thank you really kind thank you great to be back so many lovely messages thank you that makes me feel very special thank you for being with me this morning so that's our first um, early bird the retro mini purse gone from 12.99 to 9.99 we've got two more now this next one this is super clever <clears throat> you're getting the double clasp purse here so what you're getting there let me just I'm going to move this down so you can see the bag so it's like a bag within a bag so you've got your outer bag but then if I just move the frame out of the way a little bit, can you see here, when you open that bag up, there's another frame inside. So there's like a, another bag inside that, but it all comes on one frame. I'll open this up and just show you. Now you get the full pattern and you get the string and you get the frame. So you're getting kind of double the metalware there so there's your outer so you'll open the bag and then inside you've got this second so you'll have bag space in there bag space in there but then you'll have another so you could almost like have if this was for an like evening bag you could have your money you know credit cards that kind of thing in there lip gloss that's just me um, and then you could have things like a comb that's not me obviously um, other th other things and in there you could have other things as well so you're getting a lot there for your money love that 14.99 is the usual price 
Now our last, the retro mini purse was twelve ninety nine, dropped to nine ninety nine. Lovely saving. Say so it took off three pounds. But this one is going to go just as low, nine ninety nine. But that means you're saving five pounds. Love it, love it, love it. Really good. And let me just show you, you get full instructions <coughs> with that for how to make this purse. So you get all your templates, your pattern pieces, you get all of your full instructions. And it's fantastic value because if you think about it, if this was a sewing street pattern, this would be 9 99 You'd probably then be paying somewhere in the region of 9 99 for your bag frame as well so i would expect to pay about 20 pounds for this normally this would be 14.99 but you're getting it for 9.99 today while our stocks last and remember as well you'll also get two free patterns from our archive as a little welcome back oh it's stuck now there's loads more messages ah this is lovely thank you go on then Oh, I've missed you, Stuart. I'm so glad you're feeling better. Love, Kim. Thank you, Kim. That's a really lovely message. Oh, I should give up here. I'm not doing well. <laughs> Helen's got in touch. Great to see you back. Thank you, Helen. <sniffs> lovely. Another one. Uh, welcome back, Stuart. We have missed you from Catherine in South Yorkshire. Thank you, Catherine. It's felt like ages. Stella's been in touch too. Hi, Stuart. Glad you're back and looking good. Already spending Stella from hell. Thank you, Stella. Remember, you're getting your free patterns. Uh, another message from Susan, who's in Devon. Lovely to see you back, Stuart. Really missed you from Sue. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. It's really good to be back. Now, a little price comparison. That double purse frame and pattern set, we found it elsewhere for $14.99. There it is. That's the price. That's the price. If we've got any left at the end of today, they'll go back to $14.99. So grab it while you can, $9.99. <coughs> Gorgeous little gift that as well. Um, fabric wise for that one, if you're thinking how much fabric do I need, you need main fabric, one fat eighth, lining fabric one fat eighth fusible interfacing you could use something like h630 um uh, or a lighter weight one uh, 16 by 12 inch 16 inch by 12 inch and then you've got your frame and you've got your string um, and that's literally all you need <clears throat> absolutely fantastic so clever so clever and this one, um, you don't need to use glue. You don't need glue. You don't need glue. You don't need glue. You just, so we were thinking earlier on that maybe you needed glue, but you don't need glue. You bait, when you do the fret, you push the, you push the string in and that's what holds it all together. I believe. I'm reading now. I'm reading. I'm reading. There is no mention. There is no mention of glue. There we are. Jolly good. Now then, I mentioned three. Three early birds. Um, so many of those in baskets. Don't forget to check out, will you? I don't want you to miss out. Now, this one I think might be my favourite. I love the shape of the purse and I love this frame as well. It is super, super cute. Now this one's $14.99. You know where this is going. Big price set. Oh, hang on, hang on. See, there's me making an assumption. Look at the price there, $7.99, my goodness. Now this is lovely, because what you've got here is, you've got the little heart clasp. That's adorable, absolutely adorable. Um, there's your frame. Love a frame purse because it's a lovely sort of discreet profile when it's closed up. But when it's open, you've got all that space to be able to sort of properly get your hand in. So they're a really practical design. Now, half the stock of this has gone straight into baskets. It's the biggest saving yet. You're saving seven pounds on this. You've also got little rings here on either side. Um, so if you wanted to, you could attach a little chain, little um, clips there, so you could wear it over your shoulder as well, or have a detachable shoulder strap. You've also got your um, full pattern 
as well. Now, I'll just have a quick flick through this to show you. you've got so many lovely, lovely diagrams in there. You've got full size templates as well. Now then, let me just grab my iPad because I want to read some questions. Oh, half the stock already checked out. My goodness me. We are busy this morning. You're getting those free patterns too. Sue says, morning student team. Morning, Sue. And Cheryl's got in touch. Morning, Stuart. It's lovely to have you back. Oh, you say that now. I'm here for four days. <laughs> Cheryl says, morning, it's lovely to have you back. Uh, Pam says, good morning, Stuart. And everyone, hope you're feeling better. I am, thank you, my love. I am. Lynn, too, it's got in touch. Good morning, Stuart. Lovely to have you back. Hope you're fully recovered. Fighting fit, yes, morning. Morning to Patricia who says, morning Stuart, lovely to have you back from Blackpool. Uh, Hilary says, morning lovely, great to see you back. You've been so missed. Oh, but we had a little get together, Hilary, you, me and my little coffee and cake in York. We did. Kath got in touch, good morning Stuart, so lovely to see you back and fighting fit. Well, I'm not up to fighting anybody, but you know, I'd have a go. The heart class first is about to sell out. Our producers just said, I'll fight you. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, Sue Jackson's got in touch to say, morning student and crew. So nice to have you back. Looking forward to the Odile Bayou fabric. Hope I've spelt that right. I didn't pronounce it right either. Uh, we do our best. Too early in the morning for me on a Saturday. <laughs> Love to all. Donna says, good morning, Stuart and everyone. Have a great weekend. Sharon says, morning, Stuart. Lovely to see you back and looking fabulous. Thank you. There's nothing like being ill to help you lose weight, is there? Um, <laughs> Ange says, morning. Fabulous to see you back. Hope you're feeling well. Uh, Elizabeth says, morning, Stuart. Lovely to see you back and looking well. Thank you so much, everybody. Philippa too. Uh, lovely to see your beautiful smile back. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Now, talking about treats, talking about treats, let me just show you. This is brand new. This is 18. This is 18 inch square rotating cutting mat, but check it out, it's raspberry pink. <laughs> Need I say more? Now we are gonna be looking at this properly in the tool hour, but I wanted to get ahead and show you this because how beautiful is that? I remember years ago, I was given a like pinky purple cutting mat and I'd never seen the colour before and I'm not kidding every class every thing I took it to everyone used to say where did you get that where did you get that I love the colour this is your chance to get the pink we've only ever had the 12 by 12 in the pink before this is the 18 inch square for 32.99 um, I think this is going to be really really popular gorgeous Oh, what a lovely surprise, Stuart. You're back, so missed you. Thank you, Sandy. Was always going to happen, I'm afraid. <laughs> Tracy's got in touch too to say, hi, Stuart, great to see you back. Missed you at the shop too, love, Tracy. And go, Tracy, I will pop in and say hello, my love. I will pop in and say hello. Tracy's <laughs> one of my lovely, lovely friends in Ghoul. Um, she's a sewer, I'm a sewer. We talk sewing, I'm a sewer, yeah, I do a bit. I do a bit. We should probably have a look at the menu and see what's coming up. Otherwise, we'll just chat for the rest of the morning. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about that. No one will notice. It'll be seamless. Looking forward to the 10 a.m. tooled hour. Tooled you'll love. Tooled you'll love. Told. <laughs> <laughs> right, 8 a.m. Bag making must haves and Odile Bayoul fabrics. Brand new, love them. Now at 9 a.m., we've got the Moda Nova Star Quilt with Susie Duncan, who, quite frankly, is like the human form of Barocca. She is just full of energy and loveliness. Looking forward to the hour so, so much. Now at 10 a.m., told your love. You heard it here first. That's where we'll have that gorgeous 18 inch square pink rotating cutting mat and a host of other tooled. Um, and I'll be doing some demos as well, so stick around for that. Now then, at 11 a.m., Susie Duncan is back with brand new Block Keeper. This is such a cool project. 
it is such a cool project now those blocks are actually from the quilt from the nova star quilt but that's okay bruce i love you anyway tooled 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 you'll love <laughs> Bruce was offered, let me just tell you a story everyone, Bruce was offered breakfast earlier on but he said no thank you, right? Why you would ask, why? Um, he had already had a breakfast but I believe in breakfast number one, breakfast number two, I don't know about you. Anyway, but um, he said no and I think now we're, we're, we're facing the consequences of Bruce not having breakfast number two. Um, anyway listen I might show you that block keeper in a second. But um, let's just finish off the menu at 12 o'clock. Very lovely. We have got Liberty Fabrics. And I must just tell you that we're going to have a bit of a last of Liberty in that hour because we've actually got lots and lots of fabrics in that hour that we are down to our last metre and a half, two metres. So um, I would recommend you jump online and shop ahead. We don't mind if we've got very little in the hour. We'll find something else. But um, I want you to get what you want. So have a little look ahead on the website and see if there's anything there that you would like. Now then, how to get in touch. Most of you know this already. You have been getting in touch and thank you for that. But if you're a brand new viewer or you've never sent in a message before, let me tell you how easy it is. Just get in touch with us via our website. You can message the studio, studio at sewingstreet.com. <coughs> or www.sewingstreet.com, which is our website, and then you can message us through the website. Um, click on watch live, and then we'll pop up, and then you'll see below how to shop. Um, everything that's on the show, today's show deals, look, oh, there's some indigo elements fabrics. You can pre-order as well, and that's everything that's coming up. There's the Odile fabric that's coming up, that's all brand new. Um, we've got, oh, we've got Bags for Life there. Is that Bags for Life? The one copy that we had. There's more on Monday, don't worry, and demos. <laughs> uh, there's our rotating cutting mats. We've got a variety of colours actually, but that pink is my favourite. We've got some gorgeous tools and rulers. Um, we've got fabrics there. We've got our block keeper from Susie Duncan. <coughs> That's a really, really cool project actually. I, think, I know you're going to enjoy that. And then the Liberty, of course. Don't forget the Liberty. Now, uh, need to jump straight ahead actually to Fat Quarters. Let me just, before we look at those, I wanna just show you a couple of things. Now, most of you will recognize this fabric. This is from my Indigo Elements fabric range that I did with um, Craft Cotton Company. So it's 100% quilt weight cotton uh, in these designs that were inspired by a summer of playing around with indigo dyeing, tie dyeing, printing, um, oh gosh, what else did I did? Potato printing on fabric, bleach resist, you know, um, all sorts of stuff. I just had a summer of playing with dyeing fabrics, which was great fun. And this range came out of it. Um, there's a quilt there, we've got a little bag, we've got a cushion as well, just to show you some things you might do. Now, probably, probably last opportunity to get these fabrics at Sewing Stream. We've got two fat quarter bundles. Yeah. So I'm all right to open this, aren't I? Yeah. Now lots and lots of these went in pre-order. As I say, this is probably last chance to buy these fabrics. So in the bundle, <clears throat> you're getting uh, four fat quarters, five fat quarters, five fat quarters. Yes, five fat quarters. So this is our first bundle that we've got. And um, this features some of the sort of darker tones. So you've got that gorgeous <clears throat> tie-dye effect. Um, and I must just tell you, you know, obviously tie-dye, doing it yourself at home is fun and it's elastic bands and dunking things in dye and it's all good fun. This was all rendered literally dot by dot on a computer screen to simulate, to simulate tie-dye, um, not easy. <laughs> 
there's seven of these bundles left so I'm, I'm not going to give you the full SP on everything um, raindrops raindrops on roses and whiskers on uh -uh. it's sold out it's sold out enjoy those enjoy those it's good value isn't it it's good value if you got those right then <clears throat> this is the second bundle and oh less than 20 of these as well so these are going to sell out too so grab them quick while you can so these ones you've got those softer blues so this one is a kind of all over almost like a kind of art print showing you kind of some of the things I was doing there's things like this was what I was doing with potato printing which if you've never done potato printing on fabric you're missing a trick um, <laughs> uh, this is about to sell out too um, this one here was inspired by shibori um, this one you might have seen me wearing a shirt made out of this tropical leaves monstera leaves this one is like a sort of shibori stripe love a little stripe and this one too kind of inspired by shibori and kind of traditional indigo dyeing um, indigo is such an ancient dye stuff isn't it and that, you know one of the things I find most interesting about it is it pops up literally all over the world in or just about every ancient culture has got its own version of indigo dyeing or woad in Britain it was called woad lovely all sold out now well done if you got yours they would be lovely to make with the frame purses wouldn't they we still got a few of those left hanging on the heart clasp has that one gone? Heart, heart clasp gone now. Retro mini purse, which isn't that mini actually. Uh, let me just tell you size wise, five and a half inches by four and a half inches. So that's quite a decent size that actually when the bag's finished. The price remember is crashed to $9.99 for the frame and the pattern. All you've got to do is add a bit of fabric, a bit of fusible fleece or batting. Great to see you, Stuart. I've now made three bags from your brilliant book, Bags for Life. Thank you. You're a real inspiration and super teacher, Mary from County Antrim. Thank you, Mary. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Uh, Chantal's got in touch. Me and my nine-year-old son are doing some tie-dye today. Messy fun. Yay. Oh, my goodness me. Chantal, I need pictures. I need pictures. It is so much fun. But if you haven't got time to do it, you can buy it ready-made. Now then, we've got some cotton canvases. Absolutely ideal for bag making. You know how much I love bag making. Um, cotton canvas is great because it's nice and sturdy. You can use a lightweight interfacing on this if you want to give it a little bit more structure. Now this cotton canvas is beautiful check that out now i'm of course already starting to think about my autumny projects and starting to get some kind of autumn looks um, this is going to be great isn't it it's 135 centimeters wide 100% cotton it's a, a canvas so it's got a little bit more texture in the fabric itself a sort of slightly sort of heavier weave to it the print quality is beautiful and I love all those colors the teals and the uh, hot pinks and then you've also got those lovely kind of rusty and kind of cognac and uh, deep orange tones in there as well and that lovely bit of fresh green isn't that super now things like my weekend warrior bag would look amazing you could do market shopping bags you could do a lovely messenger bag in this or you could use the make the drawstring tote bag i mean anything really would look super really beautiful that now it's available by the half meter for 6.99 you get a lot I mean this is one half meter and just to give you a sort of context if you're making something like the messenger bag half a meter plenty for the outer bag and flap um, if you're making the weekend warrior I would probably go a meter of this and then you want a bit of contrast and I might pull out one of the fabrics from this or you know one or two of the colors rather maybe the hot pink maybe the green or the teal um, but you could mix plain cotton as well now remember, if this is your first purchase of the day, you're going to get two free patterns. It's a bit of a welcome back, Stuart, offer this, um, if I say so myself. Well, it is, that's why we're doing it. 
It is, it is. I'm back. Hello. Um, if you shop today, you will receive two free instructions or sets of patterns from our designers here at Sewing Street. One or two of them might be mine as well. You might have some Susie Duncan in there. There might be some, um, who else might they have? We might have some Wendy Orlando, yeah. It will be a surprise, a pleasant surprise, I hope. Now then, more cotton canvas. Yes, this is lovely, kind of olivey branches or green leaves. Oh, that's beautiful. So same width. Now 132 centimetres. What's that in inches, please? Isn't that gorgeous? So kind of soft, almost olivey greens, grey greens. Soft and subtle. Like that. On a white background, it's nice and crisp. Oh, 53 inches wide. So really good width there. Also, this would be gorgeous. I mean, obviously for any kind of bag, a backpack would be amazing, wouldn't it? Or my multi-wear work bag would look ace in this. Um, but also, of course, it's perfect for soft furnishings. And this is a lovely fabric for soft furnishings. Cushions, um, <clears throat> covering a chair, loose covers. Or, um, you know, if you have fixed seats or like drop seats, drop-in seats for a dining chairs this would look lovely to recover them and um, you probably need one meter of this to do six dining chairs you know with drop-in seats so really really good price less than 14 pounds to recover all your your dining chairs yummy or you could do little tie-on cushions very nice available by the half meter 6.99 for that so that's that one now then, we've got the same rose print in two different colourways. I'll show you them both side by side so you can make a bit of an informed choice. It's a really nice one. And again, these all have a bit of an autumny flavour to them, don't they? They're definitely sort of transitioning into autumn. So there are two colourways. We've got the sort of soft grey blue and then we've got that deeper navy. Now, this one right here, the grey blue, is much more limited. We've only got seven metres of this left. <clears throat> I would be going for about a metre of this, and that way you can make a couple of bags, or you could make a, you know, two, three cushions. If you, I mean, it depends, really, if you want the fabric on the front and the back. Maureen's got in touch from Gloucestershire, my old stomping ground. Morning, welcome back, just checked out. Thank you for the free patterns, a lovely treat welcome you are welcome and thank you for your lovely message maureen hope you have a fab day it's all going on here today it's all going on today um this one's going to sell out so i'm going to move on to our last uh, cotton canvas which is the same print that same rose print but on an inky deep navy background now what i love about this it really comes out in the dark navy background is this little very soft and very subtle sort of bronzy berry in the background. I just think that is beautiful and really adds just, um, you know, a, a bit of extra life to this fabric, a bit of extra warmth. It's very nice, that. This would also be really nice for a jacket. You know, like a little sort of denim jacket, but not denim, but that sort of style, probably with that rusty colored top stitching, nice little maybe short, denim style jacket made out of this with a nice pretty lining, maybe a, a Liberty lining. Full of ideas today. Now then, we've got some brand new fabrics which I want to share with you. And these are from one of our favorite designers here. Odile Badul. Now then, let's look at a slide. Tell us all about Odile. Um, Oh, some of the words are cut off there. Odile Baloul has created design since graduating from Arts Applique in Paris. Whether it, I'm guessing what the words are at the side. <laughs> can, you, can you smallen the slide slightly? No. Oh, no worries. Um, <clears throat> Ha, 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 ha. 
Oh, the challenges of live television, everybody. Let's have a look at the mega bundle because you know what the most important thing is. Let's see the fabric. Let's see the fabric. It is absolutely joyful. It's um, carnival. This is carnival fabric. How beautiful is this? Now I've got this split into its three colorways. We've got four blues, three greens, and then we've got these four reds. Although this one right here is a little bit of a bridge fabric, but wait till I get to that. So in this bundle, you have got five and a half meters. So uh, 11 different fabrics. Uh, from Odile's new collection, which is called Land Art 2. Now, we did Land Art on Sewing Street, and lots of you have got some Land Art in your, in your stash. This is a great opportunity to add to it. You're getting this mega bundle of five and a half meters for 87.89. Now, let me show you the individual fabrics. As always, they are just absolutely detailed and joyful and wonderful. Um, you've got half a meter of each one, these different blues. This is a gorgeous kind of wide stripe. Love that. I'll open these all out in a second. The hexagons is amazing. And then some greens, little snails. I think if you love Anna Maria Horner, if you love Tula Pink, these are gonna have a lot of appeal for you. Um, again, the hexagons. That is beautiful, isn't it? And you see that sort of, this is, to me, this is making me feel this crossover with Tula, isn't there? With the sort of hidden animals and the gorgeous bright colors. Absolutely luscious. Luscious, luscious, luscious. Oh, let's do a little saving. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Half a meter for free, so you get five and a half meters, you're only paying for five, 79.90. Brilliant. Remember, these are brand new fabrics, brand new fabrics today. Now, we have a little bit of inspiration, don't we, of Odile's? Yeah, let's, let's see. Now then, let's try again. Okay. No, I think that's good, I can read that. Yeah? No, I can see that. Odil Baoul has created designs since graduating from arts appliques in Paris. Whether it be for paper, decoration, fashion or print, this gourmet of colour loves to bring some joy into people's lives. Since creating her own mark in 2011, she offers fabrics and sewing kits to share her bohemian world with her. Her nomad style takes us travelling at the pleasure of her inspiration. I love it. I love it. And it is that nomadic sort of, you know, traveling the world and picking up inspiration as you go. Now then, here's some lovely inspiration for you. If you go on the Free Spirit website, you can actually <coughs> find these free patterns. Now, um, use some of these fabrics that we've got today. Use some from your stash that you've got from Land Art One mix and match them together maybe even mix and match in some other fabrics from your stash i love that one with the um, flying geese going this way and that different sizes that is beautiful woodland animals plant offerings grass weavings swirling waters fairy circles i'm there rows of leaves and feathers in the wind i mean that could be describing the last month of my life really feathers in the wind What can you say? Lush. Now, let's have a little look. We've got some colour bundles as well. So this is the mega collection, but I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to break it down for you. Let's start with the blue bundle. So you're getting <clears throat> four half metres. Four half metres, two metres in total. Let me open these out and show you. Now, I want to start with this stripe because this is so beautiful and I just love a stripe always on the lookout for a striped fabric. How completely beautiful is that? Now, just on its own, I see so many possibilities. Borders cut this away. Borders cut this away. Binding, sashings, of course. But also think about those blocks like, you know, puss in the corner. So large central square, small cornerstones, and then rectangles 
in the, around the block you know so it's almost like a sashed square isn't it a, a puss in the corner block but using a, a striped fabric like this for those long rectangles adds so much more visual interest to your block so this is a perfect fabric for that also marvelous for bag making that is joyful and has almost like a sort of dream catcher look to it doesn't it in some of those motifs and the feathers as well yeah it has it's got real movement yeah feathers in the wind now the hexagon fabric is really really special We'll do what we can by the half meter, but honestly, I would get yourself either the mega bundle or one of these color bundles because you've got so much in there. And literally, all you've got to do is throw in a little bit of solid fabric here, some pink, some uh, ivory, maybe some of the green, a bit of chartreuse green. <clears throat> and these are like ready-made little kaleidoscopes, aren't they? And you see we've got little robins there and eggs in the nest. You've got little snails here. I didn't even spot that they were snails to begin with. Very pretty. Half the stock of this bundle is already in baskets. Well done. Check out, won't you? Don't miss out. And you've got loads on half a meter. If I just hold this up, look at all those hexagons. Now, not a Christmas collection, but I, I'm looking at that thinking, but it's got almost like a snowflakey effect, hasn't it? And it's because of the way it's been fussy cut. Of course, it's not been fussy cut, but it's been made to look like repeats, equilateral triangles have been sewn together. I mean, I've done this. I've done this and sewn these together. You know, lots of work to create the same effect, but you're actually getting that printed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is doing three quarters of the work for you, isn't it? If you wanted to make, I want to make Christmas stockings out of this. I don't know why I'm suddenly talking Christmas because it's not a Christmas fabric, but there's just something about those motifs and the snowflakiness of it all that's making me think. And the colours too. Pinks and navy and that sky blue, really pretty. Um, two more fabrics. This is fab. Now, you know, I love Tim Holtz and I love that sort of eclecticism of the different motifs collected together. This is giving me those vibes, this fabric right here, because it's just so visually interesting. It's like someone's just sat there and collaged foxes and a nest and little mice and butterflies there are silhouette flowers there are ginkgo biloba leaves there are flowers <laughs> there they are look there it is yeah oh Odile and I are very much on the same wavelength <laughs> we really are but isn't that cool fabric and again, I, I know I said it before, but bag making, so cool and interesting, but also in your quilt making, so many different opportunities there for cutting. And if you were making that puss in the corner block, you know, a square of this is anything but a plain square, is it? You know, or if you're alternate um, squares, you know, plain, plain blocks in between pieced blocks, this is gonna give you so much bang for your buck. And free spirit fabric is always beautiful quality. Uh, they really don't care how many colours a designer wants to put into a design. They leave them in, even though it costs a lot more and it makes the process a lot more sort of costly. Um, this is the same print, but on a white background. And again, this is just a visual feast. There's so much there. It is just fabulous, isn't it? Single figures single figures left on this bundle 3196 and you've got an absolute riot there of ideas and patterns to play with have fun with that well done if you managed to get it now can we do the pink please yeah these are just now i've got to, i've got to hone straight in on yeah reds reds and pinks i've got to start by homing in on this fabric right here <laughs> Because I just love the colours. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to hold it up first of all, just so you can get. Odile does 
reds and pinks clashing, reds, pinks, oranges in a lot of her fabrics. <gasps> it's, I remember the very first time I ever saw those colours being used together and it was in the most beautiful temple in Hong Kong and it was in a little back street and I just found it by chance Charlie and I were just kind of wandering the streets as you do probably looking for somewhere to eat and we saw this entrance to a little temple and we went in and oh my goodness the colour combinations on the painted and carved pillars incredible and that's exactly what Odile's done here put these clashing colours that are so vibrant and so exciting you know some colour combinations have energy, they kind of give off energy. This is it, isn't it? And then the quirkiness of the mushrooms and the dormice and in the little nest. Love it. Absolutely love it. One of the fabrics in this bundle, there are four. Now these are available on pre-order, you can grab these now. Whipping it away. <laughs> Let me show you the other three. Oh, she's clever, isn't she? <clears throat> and of course, as well, you know, she has a style. So if you've bought previous collections or you have any of her fabrics in your stash, grab them. Now, the hexagons, again, got to be a firm favourite, this one. There's so much. Love it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now, of course, you, I'm very, very keen on quilting from the back okay so if you ever wonder oh I don't know what to quilt on that what could I quilt you could use this fabric as a backing and then you can follow the lines you don't have to quilt every line you don't have to go across here and, and make it into hexagons you could just quilt the zigzags going down the quilt and quilt from the back and so the bobbin thread will show on the right side of your quilt this will be the back but this would make an amazing front of a quilt wouldn't it just layer it quilt it you're done yeah it's got a real sort of like i say kind of carnival festival sort of you know bohemian eclectic you know i've traveled the world these are the things i've collected i just love that look i love that look single figures on this bundle snails of course of course do you know though in the last couple of years haven't we seen so many times now insects snails bees moths butterflies snakes on fabric there's a lot on fabric this is beautiful because this gives so many opportunities i tell you someone who i think would absolutely love this fabric jenny jackson because wouldn't jenny just do the most amazing things with found with um english paper piecing yeah see i love this because already you've got these almost like hexagons of are they strawberries or flowers in the background maybe little flowers but then you've got these wonderful um snails it's awesome isn't it yeah real celebration of nature yeah <laughs> That's what I love about this, this trend for insects. It's kind of celebrating things that we often overlook. And then this last fabric. Oh, that is lovely. Now this one I was maybe overlooking earlier on, but now I've opened it up, I'm falling in love with it. It's a sort of like a damask, isn't it? It's that sort of idea. And again, snakes and, and uh, mice and moths, a weasel. Gorgeous colours. It's really fun. Really fun. Now, let me just give you a little update. The blue bundle, we have got two left in stock. The red bundle, we've got seven left in stock. So that's where we're at. Two left, seven left. So if this is in your basket, please check it out. Otherwise you'll miss out. <coughs> okay, last of all then, we've got the green bundle. Now this is smaller. There are three fabrics. You're getting a metre and a half in this bundle. Um, I'm going to leap straight in with that sort of damask fabric. 
this beautiful, really beautiful this. Um, I just think there's something really simply stunning about that, yeah. It would have made a beautiful fabric just done in green, just the leaves, stems, flowers, just in one green white background would have been beautiful. But having these animals in a solid colour I just, just makes it cool, doesn't it? It makes it really cool and interesting and a bit special. Mm. <clears throat> I think that would make a gorgeous bag. Really lovely. Half a metre of that. Then half a metre of this one. This is the flowers and snails. Which again, I mean, why wouldn't you? Isn't that fresh? Lovely. No, you don't really see their snails to begin with. Now, of course, you know, anyone who follows me on uh, Instagram and Facebook knows I've been making a lot of jam this week. And now I'm thinking jam pot covers, you know, with this circle here. Yeah, exactly. Snails on the top of my jam pot and the little flowers kind of hanging around the outside, you know, with the elastic band and a bit of ribbon around. Oh yes, I've been making a lot of jam. Strawberry and uh, plum last week. And then this week when I get home, I will be making pear and ginger jam, marmalade and apple and blackberry. Check me out. I'm a veritable domestic goddess. And then this last one, this is dark and moody dark and moody but really vibrant this is fab isn't that gorgeous it almost looks like velvet it's so rich and there's so much depth in there lovely oh I've got an interesting fact for you the ginkgo leaves yes they turn yellow in the autumn Oh, in French, ginkgo is known as the tree of a thousand gold coins. How lovely. A little bit sort of off centre. Oh, sorry. Just need to perch. <laughs> um, interesting. It's lovely. It's very poetic. It's very poetic. Yes, I like that. There they are, look. Little ginkgo. Ginkgo leaves. Uh, this bundle now, we've just got six left just got six left and you can see how beautifully they mix and match across the board <coughs> excuse me so you know you might want to just get like one bundle or maybe like one bundle and then a half meter to go with just to sort of expand it slightly because I do think this green bundle would look amazing with like just one or two other fabrics picked out from the main collection and we have got a few by the half meter haven't we we will have time to go through them all, of course, but... Okay, so all of these fabrics, in fact, every single one of them is available by the half metre. Ah, the hexagons are both about to sell out, the blue and the red. Yeah. Yeah, I'll whiz through them, I'll whiz through them. Yeah, right then, well, let me... Okay, Shall I, I'll leave the hexagons. Okay, hexagons then to start with, WI20, absolutely lush. There it is. Again, just throw a little bit of, uh, little bit of solid against this. Bit of white, bit of ivory, bit of green, bit of pink. Okay, gone. Right, uh, the stripe. Nope, sorry, hexagons first, yes. Oh, literally a metre and a half of this left. So if you're really quick, you might get the whole lot. This is the multicoloured. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Really lovely. Oh, yummy, yummy. I'm just thinking, you know, this bag. This bag done with this, you know, and a couple of other bits. Very nice. Very nice. OK, the stripes next then. The blue stripe. Little feathers, 
Half the stock's gone, so we've only got half the stock left, and this is its first time out, so it's really popular. Thanks for the lovely message, Bernadette. Lovely to be back. It's lovely to be back. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks everyone who's been in touch today. Super. It's really nice to be welcome back. <gasps> you know, when you're away from something for a long time and you think, can I do it? Can I still do it? Will I be all right? Yeah. <gasps> Synergy. Absolute synergy. <laughs> no, no, thrice no. There we go. Oh, I just love that fabric. There's so much going on there. It's eclectic, it's exciting, there's gorgeous energy. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Do you know, this is a bit like a sort of, uh, you know, the ink blot tests. What can you see? It's, do you know, it's actually terrifying what our producer, Hannah, sometimes sees in fabrics. Ah, <sighs> Shall we do the navy blue background? <laughs> what can you see in this fabric, Hannah? No, please don't tell me I'll have nightmares. <laughs> I must share with you. Hannah said, is that Buckingham Palace? <laughs> with a giant snail and a ginkgo. No, Hannah, it's not. But if you want it to be, it can be. Bless her. Bless her. Oh, such yummy colours. Right, those are available by the half metre, but you'll have to be quick. Now then, pinky pinks. Mmm. I know I love the hexagons, but I'm, I've got to be honest with you. This is my favourite fabric out of them all. This is my favourite fabric out of all of them. You know, funny, sometimes there's just something about a fabric that you think, ooh. See, I think a dress would look amazing in that fabric. Yeah? I think a dress would look so cool. Or if you did a plain, like, long tailored coat and you lined it with that. You know, like kind of deep burgundy velvet coat. Something really gorgeous for a wedding and then lined it with that. Fabulous. Yes, or a clutch bag or purse would be amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got that. Feeling that? Feeling it? Let's go bright pink. Hot pink. That is yummy, isn't it? I love when designers really embrace colour, don't you? Because I think we all love colour. It doesn't mean we all love bright colours or clashing colours, or but I think we all love colour. Even if we love like subtle colours like greys and taupes and creams, they're still colours. But I just love when a designer is just unashamedly in it. You know what I mean? And just really kind of commits. Yeah, it's just so exciting. Beautiful fabrics. Lampshades, lampshades. Oh, bobble trim, fringe, tassels. I'm just saying random words now, aren't I? <laughs> it is a bit like that, isn't it? Let's play word association, tassel, Pom pom, frill. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. Snails. <laughs> now, do you know, Hannah just said flamingo when I said snails, and Hannah said flamingo. Why did you say that? <coughs> ah, but you know, also they eat like a little mollusk, don't they? Is it a, is it like a little shrimp that they eat? It's not a snail. Is it? I thought it might be a snail. It's like a little shrimp. Yeah, I've eaten snails. They were yummy. Mm. I like, well, yeah, true enough, it did just taste of garlic. Yeah, that's true. Just give me a big pot of garlic butter. I'll just eat this. <laughs> I'm good. Greens to finish. It's nearly time for Susie Duncan. AB13. Mm. Again, not not my favourite fabric, but I think maybe my second favourite fabric, this one. <clears throat> yeah, just love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
think it's a really cool fabric this buy the half meter 7.99 now two more to go snails gb 2.5 oh yeah 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 lovely idea gardening bag kneeling cushion I like that so you could maybe have this on the top <coughs> and you could maybe have something like oilcloth or in fact you could use eau de coat so you could use this fabric and you could use eau de coat if you look on pre-order um, you can get eau de coat and then you could kind of waterproof this fabric that's a cool idea yeah or a gardening belt you know, like a tool belt that you can keep all your bits and pieces in and wear around your waist. Last fabric then, it's that mean and moody, dark, dramatic fabric to finish with. And I love the teals and the pinks and the, the deep wine colours in this. They add real drama, don't they? Smashing. Yeah, I love the pink. It's really beautiful. It's like kind of Merlot. Merlot Bordeaux. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Wow. Well, we've had a busy hour. Oh, yes. Now, coming up in the next hour, we're going to take a little break. But coming up in the next hour, we have got the most beautiful Nova Star Quilt from Moda. And this is with our very own Susie Duncan. Now, this quilt just has got the most gorgeous kind of autumn -y vibe to it the color combination is dreamy this would work in my house just like that i want to make this quilt this is the one that's coming up after the break uh, it's called the moda nova star quilt there's amazing movement in that quilt easy to piece susie's going to show us how that is yummy we're going to go to a little break and when we come back we'll have susie duncan here and the nova moda star quilt See you in two. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Hello. <laughs> We're back. Sorry if it went, if everything went dark there for a moment. Everything crashed. Everything crashed. It's me. It's me. Oh, Facebook's back on as well. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. No idea what happens then. <laughs> right. Now then, I'm, I just love 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 this quilt that we're going to do next it's by anila hoey and um it is just i mean the colors for me is absolutely gorgeous i think the color combination is beautiful um i would describe those colors as pumpkin orange and federal blue Ooh, and yes. it's that combination which for me is very new england in the fall you know it's very um country but still kind of modern, fresh. I mean, just delightful, absolutely delightful. Um, it's using that classic color wheel theory, you know, blue and orange opposite each other on the color wheel. So they go beautifully together. It's a gorgeously eclectic mix of fabrics. Uh, some lovely modern prints in there as well. I mean, I'll show you all the fabrics. They are delightful. And it is sort of controlled random. So although it looks kind of the fabrics are just placed here, there and everywhere, you can follow the, the plan to the letter if you like, or you can mix and match the fabrics at any way you want to. I also love the way you get that movement, the interconnectedness between the blocks. It almost creates, do you see curves? I see kind of curved lines joining the blocks up sometimes here and then they disappear and then they kind of reappear i love that in a quilt very very clever indeed now then let's open up the box and let me show you what you get inside so again as always the packaging is lovely from moda i'm just going to mention something by the way i'm just going to drop a little the current price of the current price on the screen is 139.99 Oh, we don't need it yet, Bruce. Get rid of it. You should have had breakfast, Bruce. I'm just saying. Would have done you a lot of good. Uh, current price is $139.99. Should we take... Let's drop it. We're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. Come on. I like that more. I like that a lot. Wow. 99.99. I love that price. Let's do a little price comparison. Let's see what you could be paying somewhere else. Okay, here we go. Nova Star quilt. Am I meant to be able to read that? <laughs> 51 years old now, I haven't got any glasses. Just a minute. I'm walking round, I'm walking round. I can't read it. <laughs> no. 
Uh, what is it? Probably there's no, see it. There's no price on that. It's the same one we've got. I think it's 10899, isn't it? A hundred and nine pounds and ninety-five pence. Well, that was hard work, wasn't it? Like <laughs> anyway, more. Ours is nine ninety-nine, nine ninety-nine, ninety-nine ninety-nine, ninety-nine ninety-nine. So you are saving forty pounds on our original price for the Nova Star Quilt. You've also got the option of three split pays. So if you've never used split pay before. There's no credit checks, there's no interest either. You don't pay extra. It's 33 pounds and 33 pence today. We'll send the quilt kit out as soon as we get your order. You don't have to pay the full amount. 33 pounds and 33 pence. We'll send you the kit. And then next month we'll take another 33, 33. And the following month we take the final payment. So you can spread the cost over three months if you would like. Now then, let's get this box open and see what's inside. Oh, these fabrics are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let me just show you, everything's packaged beautifully. And there's some really lovely modern prints in there and some kind of fresh, lovely freshness. You've got this gorgeous orange with the little foxes. That's really cute, like a sort of a peachy fabric there. Oh, lovely on the navy blue. Um, you know me, anything with words, I'm there. I love fabric with words on I it. I do. Do you? Yeah, I'm Something a bit of a script it. thing, but I think yeah. it's because I like book reading. I do. So I, I, do. I like a word or two. And I love sort of looking at a quilt and spotting a fabric with words on it. That's mm. a cool, I could have metres of that. That one is yes. amazing. Isn't yes. it gorgeous? Yeah. And if you've never done sort of like used modern fabrics, if you like, you're, you're a bit more of a traditional girl or boy. And I support you there. I love traditional fabrics. But this isn't sort of, you know, scary modern fabric, no, is it? it? This is um, because it's muted colours as yes. well. Yes. It's a step into the new. It is in a traditional way. True, that's perfectly put Susie. Susie Duncan everybody, Susie Duncan everybody. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> oh do you know I'm so glad you're here today, yeah, it's so lovely. Right. It's lovely to be here. Oh. Yeah. Good to see you back and looking well. Thank you, no it's good to be back, thank you. Little horses. Now fabric with horses, we were saying earlier on, we very very rarely have fabric with horses on and yet horses ever so popular yeah Isn't that it's usually cute? got an extra horn hasn't it we've got a lot with unicorns that's and right not a lot with horses. loving that pumpkiny rust color beautiful kind of free on the moors aren't they moorland ponies when i was a child i was i remember reading about dartmoor ponies yeah. Yeah. and just you know as a child thinking <gasps> I want to go there. Yeah, you, you could just walk up to them and just get yeah. on them and have a ride. It's like the um, <laughs> New Forest ponies as well. Yes. They yeah. ate my son's Weetabix one night. Oh no. Yeah, we were camping on the New Forest and it, one of them got into the tent. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> and ate his Weetabix. I love it. So many fabrics here. Love these little dots. It's absolute. I mean, do you know what? If you didn't make the quilt, you just wanted to stash. A, yeah. a whole big stash of gorgeous fabrics for less than a hundred pounds. And then look, you've got cornerstone fabric, you've got your background fabric, you've got binding fabric as well. Yes. Binding yeah. as well. Yep. And your pattern. Yep. Incredible. Now then, let me just open up one of the fabrics with the horses on because they are super cute. Should have been £139.99 and we've dropped the price to under £100. You can have three split pays if you'd like. Now that's rather gorgeous. Look at that. It does look like they're running through a yeah. field, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. And they've all got sort of little personalities, you know. I want to name each one. Trigger. Trigger. <laughs> no, it's Trigger. Ghost has definitely got Ghost. to be one of them. Yeah. Have you, do you ride? Have you ridden? I have ridden mm. horses. Yeah, my friend has a horse and I've ridden him a couple of times. Um, yeah, I, I love riding. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was terrified of horses when I was younger. Right, because they um, are very big, aren't they? Yeah, huge. And because I um, knew I wanted to work with animals originally, mm. I m booked myself in for work experience at a stables. Oh, right, okay. And my first day was 
mucking out all the 17 horses Ooh. and then they said would you like to take them for a hack i was like yeah okay what does that mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but did they just assume you knew what you yeah, were doing around absolutely. horses yeah isn't that beautiful on the rust so was it carnage no it was brilliant oh was it, it was absolutely okay loved it. came home and said i need a horse yeah so the deal was mum and dad would let me have a horse right if i paid for all its feed and everything okay out of my pocket money it's a lot i used to get a pound a month oh bless you <laughs> so the tiny horse, horse. Sort of starved fairly rapidly oh, so hence no, horse. <laughs> no charlie and i like to go to stable sometimes and we'll just you know for a couple of hours and we'll just take a horse out for a hack it's lovely isn't that beautiful that one with the little foxes, foxes and the fox gloves, fox gloves yeah yes love it absolutely delightful lots of you with this in your baskets it's a great opportunity to get 139.99's worth of quilt kit for under 100 pounds an absolutely beautiful range of fabrics and i wish i had the overhead camera here really to You're, show you all these lovely fabrics to together can i i'll just pop yeah. over for a would second you, would you like the rotating cutting mat well yeah. i was just going to pop the fabrics down for a second just round. because on like my lazy carousel. susan <laughs> I wonder if there actually was a Susan. Who was lazy. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the fabric range that you get here is absolutely delightful. Is, yeah. And they're all fat quarters. All fat quarters. What do we get? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 20. 14, 16, 20 fat quarters. And then you get another fat quarter in the orange. Yep. Um, so that you can use for your sashing, but there are alternatives. Yeah. Can. Um, get your pattern of course yeah. you get all your background fabric as well yeah. and your cornerstone fabric so the the you have the choice yeah. you can use the blue spot extra fabric for your um, binding yeah I've chosen to use it for my cornerstone lovely and I haven't used the orange because that's what the alternative for yes the, for the um, cornerstone yes if you want to and you have enough fabrics left over that if you wanted to do cornerstones from bits of them as oh, well, yeah, yeah. you Mix could and match. do that. Or a scrappy binding. Or scrappy binding. Because we were talking or earlier on. Matching sorry. cushion. That would be nice. That would be nice. Because Susie and I were talking earlier on and, um, you know, the instructions and the fabric quantities are, shall we say, generous. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you know, there are different methods for making things like half square triangles and flying geese some of them use more fabric but are maybe more easier for a lot of mm. us to use but there are other methods that use less fabric and so often now with these kits they use the easy method that uses a bit more fabric so you you know mix and match your methods use the method that you use you might well find that you've got a little extra fabric there which is always a nice thing isn't it oh i think so nothing wrong with a few leftover scraps we, like a few bits. we certainly do we certainly do lots and lots of you already checked out on this well done well done that's before susie demonstrates so i'm going to move this out of the way Okey give you some space happy to go to demo absolutely yeah brilliant yeah wonderful susie okay over to you so um, as Stuart's already gone through everything, um, the first job I would, I did, and I would recommend you do with any quilt kit is sit and read the booklet that comes with it. Don't skip any bits, read it all. Now the, the kit that you get is designed to make the throw size, which is 54 inches by 68 inches, which is a pretty big quilt. Yeah. Do we get directions for other sizes of quilts yes. as well though? What is fantastic is as you flick through, there's a series of diagrams obviously for placement, but right on the back you've got a colour chart. So you, you could do this again, if you photocopy this you can colour your own one, mm. but you've got different size and it shows you how many blocks you need for each. So you've got the crib, the throw, and if you want to extend it even more, you've got the bed. Now you haven't got enough fabric in here to use just these fabrics to do the bed size but you could do another I reckon you could get another row at least on the width so mm -hmm. you could make it a square 
So that will be a 68 inch square, which isn't a bad size, is it? No, not at all. Not I think at it's all. a good size. Um, so that you've got lots of different instructions in here. Lots, and they, they've <coughs> cunningly coloured everything in different colours as well. So you're not constantly thinking one way. Right. You're, you're, your head is already in mix and match mode. Right. Which, um, for those people who know me, I'm not good at random I'm very ordered mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> very, yeah so this was going to be a challenge just saying um, but a but healthy challenge it was yeah but what is great is you don't have to think lots of different ways to cut the fabric you know there's each of the fat quarters is cut in exactly the same way okay you need the same items out of it mm -hmm. so I um, wrote myself a little crib sheet um, as you can see it's really scribbled looked at how they cut the fabric and actually I came up with my own way of cutting the fabric that was quicker mainly mm -hmm. because I didn't have a huge amount of time mm -hmm. so as Stuart said you will find your own ways of doing things but that is why it's important to read the instructions first yeah. because then you can start to think about things in your head so I followed all the cutting I've cut absolutely everything out and then what I did is um, you've got these corner half square triangles so they're quite big squares before you start mm -hmm. um, and I use those as my initial color randomizing okay piece put laid them out 20 of them mm -hmm. in the grid that I roughly thought would be my finished quilt because I chose not to follow the one on the box okay don't know, don't know why, but I chose not to. Um, and then from there, just put each of the other elements on top, yeah. making sure that no fabrics were the same. Okay. And I didn't have colours next to each other that were the same. Right. And that actually was the easiest way to be random. Yeah. And work really well. Yeah. And then I picked up each pile and put it in a separate bag. Well, doing that sort of helps you to manage your need for order, doesn't it? Absolutely. Because you know, there actually when we look at quilts and they're they look random, they rarely are, are they? Someone spent hours and hours and hours pouring over and rearranging and getting yeah. the balance just right. Or not sometimes, you know, you can spot it, can't you? But, but you know, you just lay out those basic pieces and then start adding to them. That's a great tip, Susie. Yeah, so plastic bags are definitely, <coughs> and I love to be able to use them. And I, what I then did was pick up each row and clipped each row together. Mm -hmm. So I've got a bag, a series of bags, one foot per block, and then I, if you're then dipping in and out of this, it's yeah. not a project like it had to be for me where I literally s slogged at this for 36 hours. Wow. <laughs> but you so you not... almost make yourself like a little block kit. Yeah. Cool. So, but you could literally just pick a bag up. So if you're going out to a class, you mm -hmm. can take a couple of bags with you, make mm. a couple of blocks while you're there. But you've got everything you need then cut and ready. Mm -hmm. So that's how I organise myself. For this um, and then the first thing that you do is make the elements that make up the rest of the block so you start with your half square triangles which are your big corner pieces mm -hmm. on the finished block and the block itself is like a series of blocks within blocks mm -hmm. if that makes mm -hmm. sense you've mm -hmm. got half square triangles on the outside you've got flying geese running on the very edge and around the star in the middle so you're going to make the half square triangles first and the method they chose to do is four at once which i quite like four at once yeah so you have a square oh, show me so show me we are, i've done mine ahead of schedule but basically i can put it back together it's fine um what you do is you take your square you mark um you lay it right sides together with your other square your background mm -hmm. in this case and then you stitch a quarter of an inch all the way round the perimeter of the square, mm -hmm. turning at the corners, you don't run off. Mm -hmm. And then, and this is why you need your rotary cutting mat, mm -hmm. you're gonna cut the two across the two diagonals. And that gives you four 
triangles. Okay. And then each of those, we're then going to press. Love this iron. Yeah. And I have to say with this quilt, there's a lot, a lot of seams. The best thing you can have is an iron that's good because you need to press everything as you go. And mm. if you don't, you won't get the finished result you want. Right. It is important to press. And they <clears> tell <throat> you which direction to press as well. Okay, Do that's take, always helpful. Yeah. Do take note because it may not necessarily be obvious straight away that the seam needs to go in that direction, but three seams down the line, you'll mm. realise why you were being told that. And I notice these seams you're pressing open. Yes, and they do tell you to, to do that. Okay. Um, again, yeah, I thought that was a bit odd for a half square triangle, must confess. I know I am a seams open presser, but yeah, even I thought, oh, really? That's different. And um, but it's are they, do they come out the finished size or do you have to trim them down? So mine actually came out the three and a half inch squares that they needed. Right. But it is worth checking. So if you haven't, um, if you're new to half square triangles, do do a, a dummy run with some excess fabric. One thing I will recommend you do though is snip off the dog ears. Mm -hmm. So check them and snip off if you can, it takes minutes. So that's the first job you're gonna do. Fab. Now lots so. and lots of you have already checked out your baskets. Well done if you've managed to get your Nova Star quilt kit. Um, this is a lovely sized quilt. It is 54 inches by 68 inches. Now that's gonna be perfect for as a throw quilt, be great on a sofa. Also really lovely on a single bed as well. Yep. Nice as a lap quilt too. Picnic blanket. Picnic blanket would be gorgeous, yeah. Bit of that um, <clears throat> waterproofing gel oh, on yeah, it yeah. would be amazing. And you've made six backing. blocks here, haven't you? Yes. Do you I've, mind just grabbing that absolutely. bottom corner? Yeah. And we'll just sort of, so you can see there the sort of um, size of the blocks. What, do, they're what size are they? 12 and a half inch unfinished. 12, 12 and a half, so, so 12 inch finished. Blocks. Yeah. Isn't that lovely though? But I just it be love that combination. Great. Though. If you made the throw size with the excess fabric, you could make a couple of, you could probably make four blocks mm. more and then make yourself a little bag for your picnic bag. Mm. Oh yeah. To yeah, go yeah, with yeah. It and have it as a picnic blanket and picnic set. That would be amazing. Be beautiful. And I tell you the other thing I really like when you see these blocks together, it just goes to show how where you place a fabric can totally alter the look of the yeah. block, can't it? Yeah. Whether you have, you know, a really obvious star that pops or whether you have See, I think that compared to that this looks like crowns yes and then you've got your crosses going on here very much so and this one over here that looks almost like a sort of a, a kiss yeah. like an x through the center which you don't see in other blocks I mean it's just really fascinating and it'll be a quilt that even though you're making the same block 20 times you will feel like you're making 20 different blocks because every single one of them will look so different it's going to be a really fun quilt to make and to see come together and I think as well will really increase your colour confidence your sort of pattern using confidence as well if you feel a little bit stuck in a rut that you always put you know the large scale print in the centre and you always use the, the you know the cream for the background and and you feel a little bit in a rut with that I would go for this kit and you know work through it find a different way and see the beautiful results that you get. A kit's a really good way of, of helping you outside your comfort zone, isn't it, Susie? It is, it is indeed, yes. And I think I've picked up one that I've almost finished, which is a shame, because I wanted to show you. This. So I'm gonna grab another one, okay. just to show you this process. So this is, the next thing you can do is make your flying geese. So I'm just gonna not lose all my bits from the other one but now lots of different ways wanted, to make flying geese there are so the method they use is um, you take a square as you normally would with flying geese yeah and you get on the smaller squares you're going to draw in your diagonal now if you're new to doing anything like 
uh, flying geese or half square triangles and you're not confident knowing where your quarter inch is, mm -hmm. then I would recommend you don't just mark the centre, you get your ruler. And of course, Creator Grids are fabulous because they've got that quarter inch marked. Mm -hmm. And instead of marking the diagonal, mark in quarter of an inch away oh, okay. either side of the diagonal. To mark your sewing lines. Mark your sewing lines, because that way you are gonna be doing this a lot an awful lot mm -hmm. so if you mark those you're going to be confident enough as to where to sew um, it it just is a, a, a guide for those people who have never done this before or if you're not confident with your quarter inch well um, well do you know what I would ha even hazard to say that we could all benefit from doing this yeah. from time to time yeah. Because how many of us, even those of us who've been quilting for decades, are we always happy with the results we get? Are we always, you know, spot on with our points? I'm not. No, I'm absolutely not. not. Sometimes it's quite you... useful to have a line to sew on. Yeah, it just gives you a backup, doesn't yeah. it? Backup plan. Um, so you have the choice. I've I've chosen to mark just the diagonal, and I follow that at a certain point on my machine mm -hmm. because I know where it's stitched and I've gotten used to it but mm. do what works for you so those you're gonna you then take your square let's reverse the process and you're gonna place them two of them so that they run with the diagonal lines in the same direction but opposing corners and this is right side to right, right side right side to right side obviously mine's wrong side at the moment because I've flipped it and you sew down that quarter inch lines. You then cut across the middle, and this is what you end up with. So it'd be, it would look like that, but mm -hmm. I've cut across. So then you take that to your ironing board and you press those seams away towards the little squares. Mm -hmm. And you end up with what I call a foxy's face. A fox, face. yes, <laughs> I always say the same. Um, so yeah, it's funny, isn't it? They're Cute. called flying geese, but I see foxes, I do which too. is ironic, really, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Well, especially when you look at the fabric you're using right at that very moment in time, which has foxes on it. It does make you smile, and it's <laughs> things like that when you're quilting and you're doing. I mean, bear in mind you're doing this for every twenty blocks, mm, so it good practice. It is good practice. By block number eighteen, not only will you be doing it in your sleep, but you will be counting down. But that's lovely too, isn't it? Because I love, I love repetitive blocks. Yeah. I love blocks where I'm making half square triangles and flying geese and squares and rectangles. I love that process. It's kept me going for decades, you know. But what I love about this quilt is every block looks totally different. Absolutely. And it's so much fun to think like, this is the same block, really? Yeah. Yeah, you haven't you haven't really invented anything new each time. No. So with your remaining four squares of the same colour, and that is important uh -huh. for this quilt, um, you're going to line up one more square on that open background colour, mm -hmm. or the sky colour, and you're going to place, I just put one pin in, but you can put two, you can use clips, do whatever you like to yeah. hold that in place because it's important it is lined up with that corner so we've got four of those to do and in fact we're going to do that for the outer ones as well so whilst i've got it on the go because mm -hmm. you can chain piece that great well you can sort of chain piece it. it's not quite so easy because of the shape of these but you can so these are my will be my outer ones mm -hmm. and you only need two of those so we'll press those over so but you get like a little production line yeah. going and that's why putting everything into a bag mm. separately like that it was great to just do okay i'm going to do all the half square triangles first so yep. i did those bag by bag and then i moved on to uh, my flying geese unit. Ah, so you did the same part of all 20 blocks? Yeah. In a line? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's one way of doing it. Um, mainly because I knew I had to get so many blocks done ahead of schedule. Yeah. So it, for me, I just picked up the first 10 and did all of that. Um, 
it's you just work as you want don't you yeah really? sometimes it's quite nice just to have a finished block at the end of your I always your make hour or one so. block straight off yeah yeah because then I've got the method in my head and I can while I'm making it I can think oh right instead of doing that if I do this instead and I do that yeah then you can work through so I'm now just going to sew that quarter inch line uh, down on all of these she says hopefully now while you do that Susie yeah. I just want to say a very special good morning and lots of luck to Amanda Amanda says morning strip great to see you back I might get to do some sewing tomorrow as I had an eye injection Ooh. yesterday oh Ooh. Amanda Horrific. and I'm still a bit blurry this morning my love I'm just giving you a hug that sounds horrible but fortunately it was yesterday and is now in the past so sewing tomorrow hurrah absolutely oh lots of love my love yeah oh. wear sunglasses let yeah. your eye recover in the dark mm. see i instantly thought have a gin and tonic <laughs> <laughs> yeah do that as well that's my answer to yeah. any trauma or cucumbers <laughs> cool your or eye cucumber down. in pims and lemonade oh no you see now you've ruined the pims what are you doing i cucumber. think you'll find it's quite traditional yeah i know it's horrible <laughs> i have some loads people of put, fruit in mine do you yeah some people put cucumber in gin and tonic don't they hendrix you put yeah. cucumber in that not do you disapprove mind. of that too well it's not like i disapprove i like cucumber in a salad but i don't like it in a drink it seems to bring quite an acrid flavor mm. to me but it's everyone has well, different i think taste you just buds. need to put a little bit more gin in the glass yeah i absolutely be my agree with that especially if it's hendrix <laughs> yeah. absolutely that's who we named our dog after oh is your dog called hendrix he is i love it not the jimmy version is definitely the gin version <laughs> <laughs> fab and he gets a bottle of it every christmas he doesn't Gorgeous. drink it. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> we help him drink it. <laughs> oh, that's very thoughtful. You buy but the dog a bottle of gin and then drink it for him. Yeah. Oh, what a, oh you're, just, you're just a giver, aren't you? I am. You're yeah. just a giver, Susie. There's absolutely no gain, personally, of course. <laughs> now then, let me just remind you how much fabric you're getting in this kit. It is quite incredible. The design is by Anila Hoey and it's called the Nova Star Quill. It's just sensational. I think it's absolutely perfect as an autumn, autumn quilt in particular, but I mean, great at any time of year, beautiful. Um, you've got your pattern. You've got the pattern in three sizes, crib, throw, which is what you'll make, and also bed size, which is uh, 81 and a quarter by 94 and a half. Fabulous. I love that when you get that extra value. You get 20 gorgeous fat quarters, which are whimsical modern fabrics but if you're a traditional quilter and I would say very much traditional quilting is my comfort zone and what I love to do but I do love dipping into modern quilting but that's not a million miles away you know you've got little uh, dotty fabrics in there you've got simple geometrics you've got some kind of floral you know like you've got your little uh, fox fabric here with your foxes and fox gloves love what they did there you know but it's just a bit more whimsical and a little bit more modern which I just think is lovely um, you get 20 fat quarters you get fabric for cornerstones you get all of your background fabric you get your binding fabric as well uh, you really do get everything there and the quantities are generous just saying the quantities are generous and depending on the method you choose and depending on how you cut you know I mean I always love the fabric so I'm always cutting as stingily as I possibly can you know um, honestly yeah exactly you know we pay a lot for our fabrics although remember today you're saving 40 pounds on this kit which is phenomenal uh, it really is amazing value isn't it it, it really is. is you're paying 99.99 and as if that wasn't enough you can have if you would like them three split pays so all you need to pay today is 33.99 sorry 33.33 is 66 pence back in your pocket <laughs> um that's all you need to pay today we'll send you out the kit 
crack on. You probably have it made before you even pay your second split pay. Um, so and then you would if you <laughs> work on my time frame. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Now you, it's not because the block, as you said, the block's the same. Mm. It is. It is a relatively quick. Once you've done a couple, oh, you yeah, get yeah, quicker. Yeah. You get your feel for it. Yeah, but take your time over the first one. Even now, if you just practice. Good question from Margaret Yvonne, yes. who asks, Good morning, Stuart and Susie. Good morning. Morning to you. Uh, would it be possible to put the horse design in the centre of the block, please? Well, do you know what? So you've, well, you've got... Um, do you mean in this... Cream. If you mean in this square here... Yeah. You haven't got... You'd have to substitute a fabric for one of the horse prints... Yeah. Um, to to compensate yeah so you'd put you could use say the orange plain or the binding fabric they give you to substitute <coughs> yeah um, you haven't got enough to do that and use the horse everywhere else as well no but I'm thinking that for example yeah. if you used you know just in like two or three of the blocks I yeah. think and I'm, and I'm wondering whether our viewer there is thinking the same as me I don't know let me know if you are but maybe just on a few of the blocks you could have the horse in in the center you could then flip it and you could have cream um, star points Yep. On, on those few stars and that would really highlight and add a little bit of sparkle here and there Let's in your quilt and have the horse in the center so this is how much fabric i have left with horses on oh well i'm thinking that's enough to do a so couple of centers you'd get one yeah. two let's work it out one two four six eight so eight from 24 four, 24 so actually you, you could, could just do it but that the way I cut my fabric was not the way they said in the book so, so stingy stingy cutting well what I can do if it's allowed <laughs> is I can photograph my sheet on how I cut it and put that on Facebook as an okay. alternative okay cool so that may help that lady awesome. cut her her horses awesome um, well just you know I'm normally a very generous person but when I'm using fabric that I really really yeah, no, love always... I turn into Scrooge oh yeah absolutely but even I'm even worse because even if it's fabric I don't love <laughs> I'm still Scrooge yeah absolutely Scrooge. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> um, oh this is funny from Jan I love this message from Jan referring back to your dog oh, Hendrix yeah, that you buy gin for uh, yeah, does absolutely. that make him Ginny Hendrix yeah oh, probably I like what you did there Jan yeah. very good very he good is. you're on form this morning absolutely <laughs> yeah. Laverne says good morning Stuart loving the quilt kit great to see you back on the telly thank you um, the little ruler that uh, Susie's using yeah. that rectangular ruler very very popular now um, we love our 6 by 24 but these smaller lengths this is 6.5 by 12.5 absolutely brilliant when you're doing things like bits of trimming uh, yeah. it's just less to move around isn't it it is, and for fat quarter work, it's absolutely brilliant. This is definitely the ruler that I cannot leave home without. I can leave home without most things, yeah. including nail files. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I cannot leave home without this ruler. I love no. this ruler. It's really bits. useful, isn't it? It is the <clears throat> most. If you're very, if you are brand new to quilting, this uh, this ruler definitely wants to be on your purchase yeah. list yeah Straight we love away. our 24 inch by six yeah. inch or six and a half inch we love that and that's the most sort of basic for every but this size super super useful and it's just that so much quicker to place turn you know line up because it's half the length it's just quicker and easier less cumbersome 23.99 details are on screen thank you thank you so Oh, Margaret Yvonne says, thank you for the advice. I want to do this for my granddaughter. Aww. Well, you said the same, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, I think it would be fabulous for, a little, for little people. And it's one that will grow with them because they, the images aren't super cute. No. You know, they are grown up. And as you said, you know, I like, you know, we like them. Yeah, as grown for sure. Ups. And we're not, well. 18. Yeah. Go on, say it. Yeah. Ruined my day. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Oh no, we've all We're decided not. this morning, even even our producer, who is the youngest, well, no, our, our, our youngest person here is Kat. But even you said this morning, you, you don't class yourself as that young anymore. You're as young as you feel. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I am 18. Yeah, I'm good with that. Derek's got in touch. Morning, Derek. Says I'm with you on that. I'm Scrooge like when cutting fabric. I've even managed to cut a shirt that needs three meters out of two and a half. Oh, that is good well going, Derek. Done. I like it. Well Yay. Done. So, by my calculations, one shirt in every six is free. Derek, I love it. Are you from Yorkshire? We like to get good value in Yorkshire. Absolutely. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Stephanie's got in touch to say, Welcome back, Stuart. Thank you. I hope you're loads better now. Susie, I love your dress top. Thank you. Uh, slash top fab quilt from Steph. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you very much. I said the same thing as soon as you walked you in, did. didn't I? You did. You did. Gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, now, don't forget, I'm celebrating being back. Oh, I've <laughs> missed you all so so much. I can't begin to tell you. And part of it was just that my my sort of shifts were very very far apart. And then I was a bit poorly and it just meant then that I was away for it. It's been nearly a month, basically. So it's felt like a very long time. Anyway, to kind of say, I'm back. Uh, we're doing a special offer today. Every single person that shops with us today is going to get two free patterns um, from our archive. Not necessarily Advent Bunting and Class Purses, although I think it would be pretty lovely if they turned up. Um, but. Our, pro our patterns are 9 .99 each, so that's 19.98 in, in uh, value. Uh, while stocks last, one offer per customer. But I mean, just a great deal. Well, so if you've bought the quilt kit mm. or any of the fabric bundles from earlier, mm. and then you get your two free patterns with your excess fabric in the kits, you could do one of the patterns. I How love cool it. would that be? I love be? it. Yeah. Um, so <coughs> I've Great whizzed, idea. I've whizzed on a bit here, but it's mainly because I didn't want to make this a laborious task for you guys. So I will backtrack and show you what I'm doing. You're doing a bit of trimming up there. But I will, and I'll explain for those who are new to rulers how you eye it all up. So this is where we sewed the flying geese units, and you're going to cut that diagonal mm -hmm. in half, and that creates you. Your flying goose units so we're going to press those out as we did before away to the corner mm -hmm. and away that famous catchphrase <laughs> there we go and then from that we need to make sure and this is important um, that these measure two by three and a half inches now and to do that, this is the way I do it. It's not the only way by any means, but I found this the easiest way. I place the one and three quarter inch line, uh -huh. which is that one there, <laughs> in the middle of my flying geese. Okay. At that point. And then trimmed off the excess here. Use my finger to take away the excess, and I've now I've cut it span it round although i've got a rotating cutting mat i could do that but mm -hmm. i've got so much on here if i do that we are going to have a major incident <laughs> in the <laughs> studio i then lined up my three and a half inch line on that line i've just cut gotcha that edge i've just cut and then i can take away this side again use my finger to take the <clears> trim <throat> turn it round and then i'm going to line up the two inch line and a horizontal line to make sure my blocks reasonably square and take off you're really taking off the dog ear at mm, the top mm. here that's all you're doing really getting rid of all your fluffy bits but that's just a little extra isn't it you could just absolutely. use a pair of scissors if you wanted just yep, to nip the dog you ears could, off absolutely and then i just trim off any that's overhanging that size so i've got my perfect two and a half at uh, two by three and a half so i'm just going to do that to the rest and then we can start to assemble so this is all your sort of base work really mm -hmm. this in cookery terms this is making the base sauce before you put everything together mm -hmm. i like that analogy yeah. anything that involves food yeah. thank you very much by the way derek derek says loving today's shirt Thank you very much. It is. I Next. like that shirt. Next. Very cool. Next. It's a great source of shirts at the moment. Is next. 
finding lots of lovely things in there. And I've got to just say a big thank you to the lovely man the other day who um, I was buying I was buying myself a shirt and yeah. um, I'd actually got gift tokens. Oh, how exciting. And I had just enough to buy the shirt and then I needed a bag. So that was 10p. So I'm there searching through my wallet. I haven't got a penny on me. Searching through my bag. haven't got a penny on me. So I was going to have to use a card for 10p. <laughs> Are you allowed to? I don't, probably not. Anyway, this very, very kind man stepped forward and popped 20 pence down on the side. So thank you very much oh, if you bless. randomly happen to be watching. I did say thank you at the time. Yeah. It is funny, isn't it? I've, you don't, well, I don't carry much cash anymore either. And it's amazing how quickly we've gotten used to using just plastic. I know. Scary. I know. The problem is I have right, a piggy more. bank and I'm quite in the habit of every day sort of taking any of my loose change out yeah. and putting it in the piggy bank. Yeah, we And then that. I never have a brass farthing on me. Yeah. Right, Queen, I never carry with I never carry cash. Never carry cash. I never carry cash ever, ever. I don't think she carries a plastic card either though, oh, does she? No, probably not. Probably not. Certainly Why would you? Yeah. Do you know, I, I think by the time I get to is the Queen ninety four now, ninety six? Yeah. I shall just expect everything to be free by then. Well, Things are free by then, aren't they? We wish. Can I just mention quilt batting? Because you might be thinking, well, I need some quilt batting for this lovely quilt. Or you might just be thinking that you need some quilt batting for your stash. We've got quilt batting, my absolute favourite, 80-20 mix, light and soft blend for $6.99 per half metre. Absolutely fab price. Now this quilt batting is 244 centimetres in width, so hugely wide. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. So it's thin, but it has a lovely loft to it. It quilts really easily by hand or by machine. It washes well too. You'd need a meter and a half for the quilt um, because you've plenty for the longer length, mm -hmm. which is 68. You just need the 54. So um, 50, 60, mm -hmm. yeah. Three units is going to be fine. Yeah, one and a half meters. Uh, yeah, one and a half meters. Yeah, one and a half. Yeah. Do you know at the moment my 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 brain is still mushy. Is it? Yeah. You know when you've been poorly and your brain's a bit mushy yeah. afterwards and you can't add two and two. A bit like that. Absolutely. A message from Karen. How ironic, Stuart Hill up without a bag. <laughs> I know. I like it. it was funny. Like, I should really. I didn't like to say. It's that. shameful, isn't it? Actually, I'm a fraud. I admit it. I had got a bag with me, but it was a little messenger bag, you know, uh, not something I wanted to like shove a shirt into. Well, yeah. There's a point where the origami folding of an item of clothing becomes a little bit insane. I know. It? But I do agree with you, it is absolutely shameful. Um, Amanda's message, oh, thank you, Stuart. It wasn't, a, Amanda who had the eye injection, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, thank you, Susie, for the flying geese tip. That's brilliant. It's fine, it was all in the book, actually. <laughs> but no, it's good. Um, so, the centre of your block mm -hmm. is the um, centre star, they call it. So that's your four piece flying geese that you made and your two cornerstones that you want in the matching fabric, um, ideally, because then you get that sort of cross <coughs> yeah. effort. Um, <coughs> but presumably effort. if you wanted more of a star yeah. block, you insert... swap out that yeah. for the matching fabric. All the corners, excess. you could have a different fabric so there Absolutely. was more contrast and then yeah. it would be a star, wouldn't it? Yeah, you could do whatever you want. Mm. Um, you could use this fabric that you've used in the fine glue centre here instead. Mm -hmm. So then, as you say, it would become a star within mm. a background. So, um, so there's lots of ways to play, play around with it. But if you're brand new to quilting you may not want to sit there and think it all through no absolutely but that's where that coloring sheet is really good on the back page i love because you that. get your color pencils out and you work it all out um using you know your colors and that will that will help you would so, you scan that and enlarge that um well i probably wouldn't enlarge it because i'm a, as you know i do everything in miniatures <laughs> <laughs> so i would just i would just copy it and use it as is, mm -hmm. um, but I would copy it several times because then 
I can do several different layouts and different colorways. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to put our flying geese units one either side of our center square. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to clip in the middle and I use clips or a pin, whichever, as my guide as to where I'm, which seam I'm sewing mm -hmm. because then I can stack everything by the side of my machine and just sew in a quick succession. Right. Then these cornerstones again, right sides together, either side of my unit. And mm -hmm. you want the star bits nearest the center block. Just remember that, otherwise you'll have your star get pointing the wrong way. Mm. Well, it won't be a star. <laughs> you'll have a whole different block, but hey, change the design if you, you want to. You can mix and match quite, <laughs> excuse me, quite a lot with this, can't you? You can. There's mm. a lot of scope. And because, as we've said, there's plenty of fabric, mm. A, you don't have to be uber worried. If you cut something wrong, don't stress over it. Right. Just go back and recut or use it to make the block that you want, yeah. you know, in your way. So all I'm going to do now, oh, with the outer ones, you just put two of your flying geese units together so you've got a mountain going on mm -hmm. and you will find that although the seams nest remember all those seams are going in the same direction so it's starting to become bulky at this point mm. so just sew over those with a little less speed than you would normally so i'm going to chain piece all that together gorgeous and then we can go on to the assembly bit fab I think this quill is a brilliant teaching tool, you know, because there's some good basic units in it. There's a really good variety of fabrics and the way the fabrics mix and match across the blocks is going to really open up the possibilities of how value, scale, colour can really alter the look of a block. I think by the end of making this quill, every one of us will feel a bit more daring, a bit more adventurous, and a bit more empowered, I think, yeah, for absolutely. putting fabrics together. Yeah. And wouldn't this quilt be beautiful, amazing, done scrappy out of all your scraps? Yeah. Mm? So once you finish making this quilt, you'll make it again, but make it scrappy. Use your scraps. Lots absolutely. and lots, so many of you, it's been hugely popular. So many of you have checked out on this. There are a few that are in baskets, and I just want to let you know. Be in danger. I'm going to grab the gorgeous horse fabrics out because they are my favourite. And we don't horses? often have yeah. fabrics with horses on. But they're so, so popular. This is lovely in that very soft sort of robin egg blue. Isn't that lovely? It is Frolicking beautiful. ponies. It is beautiful colours. Mm, mm. It is. It's soft and gentle, isn't it? It's like all my favourite colours in one fabric mm. mix. And it's also as well, I know there's a couple of little flowers, you know, that the horses are running around, but this isn't an overtly feminine kind of girly quilt, is it? Oh, absolutely You know what I not. mean? No. Um, so... So, you know, if you don't, if you're someone that doesn't really do florals, or doesn't want florals, um, I think it's going to tick your boxes. Love that background colour. It's absolutely delicious, isn't it? How would you describe that colour? That, I call that, um, well, I have an ink that is that colour and yeah. it's called Canyon Clay. So it, for me, it Ooh, is a clay colour. Yeah. But it's a really warm sienna brown, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. I was thinking ochre. Yeah, or nutmeggy. Nutmeg I like. Yeah. Nutmeg I like. My new fabric range mm. is called Nutmeg and Blue Skies. Oh, is it? Blue Skies and Nutmeg, sorry. Blue Skies <gasps> and Nutmeg. Honestly. That's really cool. I like that. Told you my brain's mushy. Yes, blue skies and nutmeg. I love that colour. Yeah, that's that blue is a really lovely soft mm, denim. It is. It's that federal really. blue, isn't yeah. it? And pumpkin orange. It's just so lovely. 
And it's all to me, and there isn't a falling leaf in sight or a pumpkin or, you know, anything like that. Yeah. But it's still got that lovely, warm, cosy feel to it. <clears throat> yeah, I love yeah. those colours all year round too. I think they're beautiful. Again, this fabric, I love it in the blue. I love it in this orange. That is just gorgeous. Yeah, I just want loads of that, please. I, I was going to say, I like you said, mm. that would be a fantastic blender for Isn't it? a project. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a binding. Gorgeous. I really love that fabric. Yeah, yeah, me too. I've actually got a, a quilting design that looks like that almost yeah the quilting goes kind of back and forth back and forth in little random shit and yes then the other yeah. way mm, it's lovely and again it's got that sort of modern flavor without being too sort of out there you know it's like um these little geometrics as well i'm just show you these ones yeah they're not it, spots they're little squares little squares Tiny and again it's just squares. a lovely little modern look but it's really quite traditional too I'm pretty certain if you looked at dress fabrics from 1820, you'd find something along those lines, somewhere in there, it's or something like, like confetti yes, scattering, it is. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Really, clever. I like that. We saw a wedding the day before yesterday. Did you? Talking of confetti, well, we ended up covered in it actually because we were walking in the building oh, just as they were throwing confetti. them. They That's were allowed confetti. They were. They were. Well, I think they just did it. So, um, but that was cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, basically I pushed the bride and groom out of the way <laughs> and then all the confetti went, <laughs> went over, over me. You, yeah. mm. <laughs> now, do you know what? That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Beautiful. You get all these fat, you get 20 fat quarters, all from this gorgeous range, 20 of these. And then you also get all your background fabric, your fabric for your cornerstones, your fabric for your binding. There is an absolute chunk of fabric. Remember the price should have been 139.99, but we've dropped the price today only 99.99 and you can get three split pays if you'd like them. So remember if you've never used split pay before, no interest, no credit checks, no forms to fill in. You just choose it as an option when you check out. You only then have to pay 33.33 today. We still send you the kit right away and then we take the next payment a month later and the final payment a month after that. So it's a great way of spreading the cost if you'd like it. Um, a super pattern as well that comes in three sizes. You're making the throw, which is 54 and three quarters by 68 inches. That's the one you can see on screen now. But you also get the pattern for the crib, which is 41 and a half by 54 and three quarters. So for example, if you wanted to make the crib and then you wanted to make, say for example, some, accompanying cushions or maybe like a baby bag or something like that using the fabrics you could make that all from one kit couldn't you you could just easily. make the crib size plus other things as well yeah. i mean i never look at a kit and think i have to make exactly that i'm always looking thinking well actually yeah i've got some fabrics in my stash or i'll buy a few extra fabrics and i'll make the larger size i'll just add in some extra fabrics yeah there's no reason why you can't do that too you know take a mix and match approach and then you also get the bed size which is 81 and a quarter by 94 and a half very precise measurements those yes it is very precise yeah. throughout, to be honest yeah. so we i like know we're that. running out of time shall i quickly show what you do from there so i've done my center um, then all your rectangles that you've got you join to the other flying geese sets and this time they go they're going in the same way they're going as mountains outwards so you'll join all of those to your flying geese units that way round like this and then once <coughs> you've done that you're going to join um, two of them to your cornerstone mm -hmm. half square and triangles make sure you follow the instructions on how to place those though so you want those going in the same way mm -hmm. um, and then you um, put those sides to that and then you put the row to that and then in between each one is just a band of sashing <coughs> Just plain sashing there. Plain sashing and then 
you join your rows together with the sashing with your cornerstones meeting at the junctions. Perfect. And yeah. Nice easy job. It is really cool, but press as you go. Yes. Is the biggest tip I can give you for this one because there's yeah, a yeah. lot of seams. Yeah, but just keep pressing them, follow the Absolutely. instructions. And if it's <coughs> slightly slow and out steady. of line or slightly, I mean, I've gone slightly out here. I'm not going to stress over it. It's a quilt. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not, you know, a designer yeah, wait till dress. Yeah, it's got a bit of gravy splashed on it. Now, talking of designer <laughs> dresses, before I let you go, Liz has messaged in to say, good morning, Stuart and Suzuki. <laughs> Good morning, Stuart and Susie. Just don't mind me. Uh, late tuning in this morning. Lovely to see you back, Stuart. My darling, it is wonderful to be back. My goodness, I've missed it. Love Susie's dress. Can you ask her, did she make it? I didn't make it. Didn't no, make it. I purchased it. But we're it. all crushing on your dress this Thank morning because it is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. And it really highlights the colours. Yeah, I do I do spend a lot of time selecting from my wardrobe. It wasn't a coincidence, what was matches? it? What <laughs> yeah. oh. Susie, I said it earlier on, you like the human form of Barocca. Oh, You've really shoot. given me a, a, a zing of vitamin oh, C. Good. Thank you for the hour. Thank We're you. seeing you in an hour's time you with are. your block keeper. Yes. Super excited about that. I've brought because I had some lovely messages from viewers asking me to bring it to the to design it for you yeah. and bring it um, because I use it a lot. So yeah, they excited are to share. Absolutely awesome if you've never heard of one before it is even what do you do with your blocks while you're making them before they go into a quilt will you make yourself a beautiful block keeper which is like a book oh which you then have leaves if you like of quilt batting that you put your blocks in it keeps them flat it keeps them pristine and you can keep them in here while you're making the rest of the blocks and you can tie the whole thing up to keep them safe maybe if you're going to classes or you have to bring your sewing room out and put it away again at the end of the the day it's a beautiful project you've been very generous in the amount that you've put in uh, now, I just want to let you know the instructions on their own have already sold out. Gosh. But we have some beautiful bundles, including one to make this version, four different bundles. So, I mean, everything to tune in for, and that will be in an hour. Susie, thank amazing. You. Mwah, thank you. Thank you for the last hour. That's all right. No, it's been good fun. A bit. Love it. Love it. Um, well done if you managed to check out your copy. Um, we've uh, we've had such a busy busy hour this hour and I can't wait to see your versions of this beautiful beautiful mode of quilt now we're gonna go for a little break um, and I will see you in just a couple of minutes with some essential tools and demos Sewing Street have our very own app you can now watch and shop from anywhere simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet then log in or create an account and you're done you can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello again. <laughs> Welcome to Sewing Street, everybody. Yay, I'm back, I'm back, and I'm back with a bang. Oh my goodness me. If you buy anything today, you're gonna get sent two free patterns as a little, we're back, I'm back, I'm back, not we, <laughs> royal we. Not necessarily the Advent Bunting and Class Purse, it could be, well, it'll be any two patterns from our archive, but remember we sell our patterns for 9.99, so you're getting 19 pound 98 value for free, while stocks last, uh, for every single customer, one, one offer per customer, just as a little uh, thank you for shopping with us today and for being back, back in the game. It has felt like forever since I've been here. I forgot how to turn my microphone on earlier on. Nobody stepped in to tell me how to turn it on. Funny that, funny that. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Now, this hour is tools. It's all about tools or tooled. We're tooled up. Rotating cutting mat. Now, absolutely love, love, love rotating cutting mat. So useful. If you've never seen one before, check this one out. It's 18 inches square, 
and hot pink. I mean, talk about making something gorgeous even better. 18 inch square cutting mat in hot pink. Now then, here it is, absolutely fantastic. Now, you may well have just a regular cutting mat at home, and I will tell you a story. I've always thought, ooh, cutting mats, I don't like the sound of them, because I always imagined they'd be on some kind of little turntable and they'd cut, that would be in the centre, and they'd sort of rock and not be very flat. I don't know why I thought that, really, but they're not, trust me. Let me show you how it works. So this is the right side, and it's... Uh, uh, a self-healing cutting mat in an inch by uh, inch inch grid all right if you flip it over the back of it starts off you've got this non-slip mat on the back which means that it's going to grip the table um, really securely which means the mat isn't going to slip and slide while you're working on it and then in the center this is your rotating part this is like your lazy susan in the middle now then it can be locked this at the moment is locked because these four little um uh, locks are pushed outwards which locks the mat into place now of course that's for a reason because you might want to just lock the mat in a, a particular position because you're just cutting lots and lots of strips there's no need for it to be rotating but when you're ready for rotating you're just going to push all of those locks inwards so now it's going to rotate I'll flip the whole thing over and what you've got now so for a start there's that non-slip and I'm putting quite a lot, there's less weight than at the start of the year, but it's still considerable weight behind this, and it's not moving anywhere. But look, the top mat spins through 360 degrees. So why is this so important? Well, whenever we're cutting fabric, we always start by trimming off one edge, don't we? So for example, if I was going to be using this fabric to cut myself maybe some strips, and then from there I'd cut them into squares, I'm always going to do a cleanup cut first of all, okay? But then you need to turn your fabric, and I always say to people, don't turn the fabric, turn the mat, because otherwise you've just cut a beautiful straight line and now you're disturbing it. So we'll line it up now, and then we can cut our strip and continue to cut our strips that we need, okay? So there are our strips cut, whoops. So there are our strips. So now we want to cut them into squares, okay? Or rectangles. So now what we can do is we can go back in, we can clean up one end, spin our mat around, and then we can cut our units straight from that strip. And we're not having to constantly pick up and move the whole mat around. We can just spin it. So if we're doing strips and squares, there are huge benefits from having a rotating cutting mat. Okay. If you're wondering what lovely fabric I'm using, by the way, it's La Vie Boheme from French General for Moda. It's absolutely glorious. It's a um, layer cake and we do have it on the show. I'll tell you about it in a sec. Oh, there it is, in fact. $47.99. Go on, do it. Go on, take a little bit of money off. I just pester until I get what I want here. There we go, $42.99, thank you very much. Now you do get 42, yes, 42 10 inch squares. So you're basically paying 40, uh, a pound a square, super value, yeah. Right then, so when it really comes into its own, a rotating cutting mat, I think, is when you're cutting out a, te a more complex template. So here I'm using the um, Creative Grids hexagon trim tool, but I'm just thinking, let me just, I'll just move it over for a second. That helps not at all. Hang on, hang on. Is that, is that better? No, not really. <laughs> Did you provide me with a light colour? Just a minute, just a minute. Don't you dare show a picture when I've gone to all this trouble. Right, does that help? 
Yes, good. Okay, now we're in business. Okay, so the hexagon trim tool. This is one of my favourite. I'm not a huge one for templates, but this I think is a really, really clever template. You've got all sorts of different sizes of hexagon that you can cut, but also you can do like log cabin style hexagon. So you start with the centre, you add strips, log cabin style, and then trim off the edges using the ruler. It's super clever. Um, but I'm just going to use this on my French General <coughs> just to do a few hexagons. So let me grab, I'm going to grab a few different fabrics just for variety. Um, let's do those. So I'll layer up four layers. So I've got my layer cake squares here. I'm just going to layer them all up on my rotating cutting mat. Now, of course, with a hexagon, it's got six sides. And if you were using this on a regular cutting mat, you're going to have to turn your cutting mat six times just to cut that shape out. But using your rotating cutting mat, look, we'll line this up. And I'm not going to use the pink edge. I'm, I am going to trim that off. But what we can do now is we can trim around. And I can do two sides quite comfortably. Then I'm going to turn and then I'm going to trim. Now you see there I kind of left those pieces intact because I think I might get quite a nice little strip off that and then I'll turn it again and then I'll just make my last two two cuts and then there's just a slither there but if you weren't comfortable cutting across there you could just turn that cutting mat one more time and it just makes the whole process so much easier. Now you imagine if you were cutting out all these hexagons to make a gorgeous quilt, and this would make an absolutely stunning quilt, um, how much quicker, how much easier is that? I just think those are absolutely lovely. And that would make a very simple but beautiful quilt. Now then, let me just show you one other feature of the hexagon trim tool. Anybody know where I put it? <laughs> do you sometimes wonder how you do things? That one's the one that's wrapped up. Do you sometimes wonder, wait, like how you do? I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Oh, there it is. Sorry, it's on top of the, honestly. <laughs> so what you want to do as well, I'm just going to pop this on top. <clears throat> And pop this on top. So what you want to do as well, you might have noticed on the trim tool that there are little holes sort of punched through the template at all of the the intersections on on the um, on the hexagon. And what you want to do is grab yourself a fabric safe marker and you're just going to go through all of those holes and put a little mark. Okay, so I've done that now and I'll just kind of make them slightly bigger so that you can see. Now I've done this on the right side but you really want to do this on the wrong side. But anyway, you get the, you get the, you get the idea. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just transfer, oh actually look it's gone through so that's fine. So they're on the wrong side, as if by magic. And then what you would do is you would layer your two hexagons together. <clears throat> okay, and because they're precision cut using the template, they're going to fit together wonderfully. And then what you'll do is you'll start sewing up the dot. So you want to drop your needle down into that dot. And then with a short stitch, stitch a couple of stitches forward and a couple of stitches back, stopping directly on that dot. <clears throat> so you reinforce the start. So you'll end up with just a little gap at the start that's unstitched. You're going to use your quarter inch seam allowance and sew across. When you get to the dot, stop, reverse and stitch again just to reinforce there. So you'll leave a little quarter inch gap at either end. Then, once that's sewn together like that, when you come to sew this next one in, so you'll, you'll make a whole long line of these and then you'll make another whole long line of these, which you then need to sew this to this, okay? Because you've then got that little gap, it means that you can get your whole hexagon flat 
And then what you will do is you will sew from the dot to the dot and to the dot as you go along. So this is how you do a Y seam. It's very, very straightforward. And what makes it straightforward is that you've got these little holes for you to draw those match points, those little dots. It's a bit like using a notch in dressmaking. Now let's just cut out a few more hexagons because I think they look stunning together and I might quite like to sew those together actually. So let's get another four fabrics. The um, French General collection is stunning, absolutely beautiful. You're saving a fiver as well. Um, and using the largest hexagon from the trim tool, you can do smaller ones of course, but um, using the largest hexagon is actually a really, really good use of um, a layer cake square because you only have a few little bits left over and, and certainly they're usable bits too. Okay, um, and I think the hexagons really suits the style of the fabric as well because it's kind of a real heritage look, isn't it, a hexagon quilt? It's a very traditional looking quilt, although it can look super, super modern as well. So I'll just rotate my cutting mat now and let's carry on cutting. So again, I am going to just turn that and I'm going to try and keep this whole piece of fabric in a, in a chunk there because I think I'll get a little bit more use out of that. And there we go. So I've got those all cut out. And um, you know what, I might use my design wall for these patches. Just going to cut a couple more actually while I'm here. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Do you know? I'll tell you one thing, and you might be able to relate to this. Um, I really lost my sojo while I was not feeling very well and that was the most depressing thing because I was at home and I thought well I could be doing some sewing now but I just didn't feel like it at all and that was the hardest thing to deal with. I did knit myself a tank top so I mean there's something but look how quick and easy that is I mean it's just absolutely splendid now, the magic of television and having a wonderful multi-skilled operator. Let me just pull this down a little bit. We've got it all going on here, I'm telling you. Um, I'm going to put these on point, actually, just so I can fit a few more on. Now, if you've never used Design Wall before, it is ever so useful for, you know, just kind of playing with placement and colours and what's going to go where and just having a sort of play really. Now I've used a lot of the red fabrics Yes, so great question from Pauline. Can you cut smaller uh, hexagons using the tool? And you absolutely can, you absolutely can. Um, you have full instructions with said tool, but also if you go on YouTube and you have a look on YouTube, on the Creative Grids. They've got videos for every single one of their rulers. And I'd really, if you're thinking about getting this, I'd really, or you do buy it, I'd have a look um, at the video because that'll give you a full demonstration on how to do things like the um, log cabin style as well, which is stunning. How cool is that? How cool is that? Mm, yeah, really super, ever so useful. Um, Half the stock of the ruler has gone, by the way. Um, yep, nope, doesn't damage your fabric at all. <clears throat> oh, well, I have lost weight. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I've lost now, since February, 36 pounds, which is quite a lot, isn't it? I'm just trimming this down a little bit 
um, I'm just going to cut a smaller hexagon. So um, what you want to do for your small hexagon, I mean, you can cut a strip of fabric, which I think is the best way. So uh, two and a half inch strips. So let's cut the smallest one. So I'm just going to use my ruler to cut a two and a half inch strip. So let's just do that. So I'm using my small rectangle. This is six and a half by 12 and a half. I think Susie and I both agree. This is our favorite smaller ruler to use. Um, and everything's easier using the rotating cutting mat. Okay, so then for my smallest hexagon, all you're going to do now is just line up top and bottom, okay, with that small hexagon and you can trim off the sides, okay, and then rotate and then flip your ruler around, line up. How cute is that? And there are our, and of course, I mean, I've laid up two pieces of fabric there, but you could layer up more if you wanted. Um, and then you're gonna just kind of do the same again. So you'll have these little triangles left over. So if you were using something like a um, two and a half inch strip roll, then some of that cutting is already done. I rather like the arrow. <laughs> Decorate your cupcakes. Um, and then just line that up and then cut again and there are more hexagons. And if you're doing the larger size hexagons, then you just cut larger strips. So you've got two and a half, four and a half, six and a half, and eight and a half. You've still got all of the dots. So if you look here, you can just about see, if I turn that hexagon over and then just line it back up, and then you're just going to put the dots through. And if, for example, you like doing hand piecing rather than machine piecing will still put those dots because you don't have to do hexagons using um, paper inside and uh, you know English paper piecing you can literally just put those two hexagons together and then do a small running stitch dot to dot that's all you've got to do and then open it up and then add in your next one and you can sew your rosettes just like that too love a clever little tool just need to mention to you though there are more of you with the hexagon trim tool in baskets than we have so the soonest you uh, the sooner you check out the uh, more likely you are to get your hexagon trim tool now um, the fabric that I'm using is called La Vie Bohème and it's by French General who are one of the most popular um, designers for moda really really popular and very very popular in um, the UK and also in Europe because um, they have that wonderful they have quite a European look don't they of course these fabrics are inspired by the kind of fabrics you would have found in the Latin quarter of Paris in the mid 1800s so uh, the, the the guys from from French General that do their research very carefully <coughs> and they reproduce those looks or maybe recolour them. They always use those gorgeous madder reds but you've also within here got beautiful kind of, look at that, those dove greys, uh, pearl, that lovely sort of soft grey blue, lovely serpentine stripe there, really beautiful and there's a sort of almost like a linen look you could sew these together as simple um, uh, squares. You don't have to do anything uh, but really terribly clever with them. Let me just, I feel like I need to cut more hexagons. Is that all right? I'm just gonna cut it all. The thing is, you could cut out 42 hexagons using the hexagon trim tool and this layer cake in probably about an hour tops about an hour. Now imagine that, cutting out all the pieces for a whole quilt, and not just the pieces, but if they're all hexagons. And the, the secret to the success and the speed is threefold. Number one, it's using a layer cake because it's an easy piece of fabric to press, stack and cut. So layer cake means it's quicker. Um, the trim, the uh, trim tool, is an absolute boon because it is regular thickness 
uh, perspex, which makes it very easy to rotary cut. It's so, so accurate. Then the third thing that gives me quick success is this wonderful rotating cutting mat, which means that I don't have to constantly lift up the fabric or move the mat around the table, which can really end up taking a lot of time. Um, you're just twisting and turning the actual cutting mat itself. And there we go, I've done, and I've done four layers at a time. I wouldn't do more than four ever. I'd always, I'd always just keep it to four layers at a time, maximum. But isn't this pretty? And it's very, very simple. There's nothing complicated about this. And if you've always thought, oh, Y seams, I think they sound and look complicated. They're really not. But what is going to help you massive, massively is that uh, those little holes in your template that you can put the little dots on because then you're just sewing from dot to dot. Now, if you manage to get hold of the template, well done. Uh, it's now sold out. Um, if you want this fabric, again, be quick. It's about to fly out the door um, and it's so, so pretty. There you go, look at that, gorgeous. Lovely message from Alicia. I got this pack last time it showed, my first traditional pack, and it's just gorgeous, great quality to sew with, love it. Thanks Alicia, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Um, I hope you got it for £42.99. Uh, we've taken five pounds off today. Now, remember to check out your baskets. Yeah, I can just sew that together for you, not a problem, Hannah, not a problem, yeah. Absolutely, it's fine. <laughs> oh, no, but that is a lovely quick quilt. Um, but do check out the videos for that trim tool because there's so many good ideas. Now, <clears throat> I do just need to let you know, there are more than 20 of you with this layer cake in your baskets. Um, I don't think we have enough. Um, we call it a charm pack. We use that to a large charm pack or a 10 inch charm pack. We use that phrase for all 10 inch stacks. Um, these are Moda layer cakes um, and they are 10 inch squares. They are, um, they have a pinked edge. So slightly sort of zigzaggy edge on them. 10 inch square and they're a brilliant way if you've never bought fabric like this before they sort of fulfill that desire of all of us I think it's fair to say that we just want a bit of everything thanks <laughs> um, and in a layer cake that's exactly what you get aren't these pretty absolutely gorgeous you've got that mix of creams and tans beautiful madder red and then you've got that little bit of very soft gentle gray blue and pearl in there which i just think is absolutely stunning now i've actually made a christmas quilt out of this range would you believe because as soon as i saw it i just thought it's kind of christmassy but also got kind of icy snowflakey kind of look yeah Christmas tree skirt would be lovely wouldn't it oh those pretty now listen I need to apologize if you're trying to get through on the phone lines it is very very busy this morning and I do apologize it is the queue is moving of course and everyone will be got to but um, if you can shop online then that is a quicker way of getting through um, I check out if you've got this in your basket I check out sooner rather than later because we are going to sell out of this aren't they beautiful though just love that serpentine stripe is oh everything I love it <laughs> I do I love it I love it I love a stripe you know it's just dynamic and beautiful there's so many possibilities and then check look at that yeah you, you do get a really wonderful mix. The paisley is beautiful. Just love that. There's such a gorgeous mix of fabrics in here and um, they go beautifully together. But also don't be afraid to sort of, you know, pull out all of the creams and say all of the bluey, really bluey blues and mix them together. And then maybe use the reds and the pearls and the greys together or, you know, mix and mash, it, max can't speak properly mix 
and match. Thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> but, you know, and also, if you're a fan of French General, then you will already have some of these gorgeous reds and soft blues and tans in your stash, and you can mix and match uh, these fabrics very, very nicely and easily together. Remember, it's all of these, but it's also all of these as well. So I've got my work cut out, haven't I? Cutting out hexagons for Hannah's quilt. <laughs> Another thing, you want it by Christmas, that's easy. <coughs> Which Christmas? Oh, you'd like it for this Christmas, gotcha, gotcha. I think it's always worth asking, isn't it? I've made you a birthday quilt, but I'm not gonna specify what birthday. <laughs> now, I do need to urge you, check out your baskets on this because we are gonna sell out. We did actually start the show with quite decent quantities, but you've really seen the beauty of this gorgeous range. And um, yeah, they are just stunning, aren't they? See, like these fabrics here, these are the sort of pearl fabrics. And I just think they're stunning. They're so, I mean, I love bright colour, but those to me are just so gently beautiful. Mm, gorgeous. You can make some little bags out of those. <coughs> you know, you lay cakes, I would say, a layer cake or a 10 inch charm is the most versatile pre-cut for my money because you can cut the biggest sort of shape out of it. Um, I do love a jelly roll and I do love a charm pack as well, a five inch charm, but I do think that the, the 10 inch squares offer amazing value. You get a bit of everything. You do get a bit of everything, quite a bit of everything, and you can make a really decent quilt from that. And of course, if you add in a little bit of maybe a solid or a tone on tone, a batik, something from your stash, you know, seeded natural, something like that, um, you can really get, you can get a queen size quilt out of a, out of a 10 inch layer cake. It's just about how much added fabric you add in. Lovely, really lovely. Keep going through for that. Don't forget that 18 inch rotating cutting mat as well, which has been very popular. Um, first time we've seen it in the shocking pink, the hot pink. That's the largest rotating cutting mat that we do. It's $32.99. You don't pay any extra PMP, even though it's quite large and sort of bulky. Always store these flat. I think under a chair or under the bed, under the sofa is the safest place to keep these. And if you don't want it rotating and it comes apart, okay, like this, don't ever worry that you've, you've broken it. Okay, it does come apart, it's meant to. This is the base of it. So you want the black sort of non-slip side facing you and kind of white to white and then just line up and you want to line up these little cutouts here with the locks and if you push those out this is now locked together so this now won't rotate it also won't slip and slide so it's perfect as a regular cutting mat but as soon as you want to start rotating and spinning it around just unlock it and around it goes. You've seen how quick and easy it makes cutting out hexagons, but think about when you're doing things like trimming dog ears off lots of flying geese. So Susie was doing that in the last hour, and she said, you know, I would use the rotating, but I had, she'd got lots of stuff around her cutting mat. I'm the story of my life, frankly. But keep it nice and clear, and then you can lay out maybe four or six or eight um, flying geese on your mat and then you can trim one side off each one rotate and trim and trim and trim so or if you're trimming down half square triangles again you want to trim off on four sides so a rotating cutting mat just makes the job so much easier it streamlines the process Remember, I always say, I don't think any of us go into patchwork because we want to cut fabric up. It's the sewing together that we enjoy, isn't it? So let's make the cutting part as easy, as accurate, streamlined, as comfortable as we can. You know, having to constantly pick up a mat and turn it, you know, all this extra strain, whereas just turning it turns so, so easily, um, makes the whole job much easier for you as well. 
Now, message has come through, thank you very much, from Tracy, who's in Surrey. Put my order in and got some free patterns. Wow, lucky me, great show. Thanks, Tracy. You will have those two free patterns. Everyone will have free patterns. While stocks last, we've got two free patterns for every customer that shops with us today while stocks last. And that's just a, I'm back, I'm back. Ha ha, I'm back. My Sojo is back as well. I was back on the long arm just the other day. Lots of you saw my video. Now that fabric, Sunflower Dream Skates launches on Monday. It is so stunning. I've got the quilt in the car. I might have to bring it in for tomorrow and I'll give you a little tease of that. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Good morning to Gemma, by the way. Now, my rotary cutter, my rotary cutter. I've been using this lot. Um, <coughs> I've you know, I've got a few favourites, but um, the Ulfa, this is the one that I probably use most at home. Um, it is a 45mm rotary cutter. I am a huge fan of the trigger system and for a number one reason, which is safety. Um, I've taught many, many hundreds, if not thousands of classes, and I'm always very vigilant. And I see this so much as I'm walking around class, rotary cutter left on the side with the blade out. We've all done it, we've all done it. And we all know we shouldn't, because we might clip our fingers on that, it might fall on the floor with that blade exposed, pets around, that kind of thing. So we know we should always cut and then shut, but do we always remember to? You have to remember to shut that. However, with the trigger system, you've got a lock. So when this is in your sewing bag or box at home, lock it in place, or if there are children about, and now it's locked, unlock it by depressing that red button. The blade still doesn't pop out until we squeeze the trigger. Now the blade is out, we can do our cutting, but as soon as we let go of the trigger, the blade pops back in. Now, if you did need to lock the blade out, you can. So push that red button back out and that blade is now held outwards, permanently outwards, until you press that red button again and then uh, the trigger system kicks back in. But I think this is the easiest and safest way. 19.99 is a fantastic price. The other thing as well, of course, is this shape is ergonomically designed to be more comfortable, to sit in your hand nicely, to feel comfortable. Use this part here, have your finger here for extra pressure as you're cutting. You'll find it much easier. Now it's set up for right-handers, but if you're left-handed, all you've got to do is unscrew and flip this section to the other side, flip your blade around the other way, and then it's a left-hander. So it's completely adaptable. 45 millimeter blade. Now any 45 millimeter blade will fit this. So if you want a crinkle cut, if you wanna you know, use a generic blade or you've got some millwood blades, for example, or something like that, um, you can mix and match the blades. It's not a problem at all single figures single figures it's always something we've got on reorder but um if you want a, a, a rotary cutter it's good it's great price really great product um i've got about probably five rotary cutters <laughs> because i'm always losing things and i have one in the back of the car i have one in my studio i've got one upstairs downstairs you know all over the place <clears throat> so that's our alpha rotary cutter 45 mil now i've also got <clears throat> A Fiskars, so that was Alpha. This is Fiskars, another great brand. This is um, a 60 mil blade. Now I've recently got myself a 60 mil, and I'm rather loving it. Okay, this is again ergonomically designed. It's got a soft grip handle, which means it's more comfortable to hold for longer, and it's shaped so you know it feels nice and comfortable. It is a push button and then a clip to push the blade back in. So you push the button forward, the blade is locked out, and then you click the button to put the blade away. So you do need to remember to put the blade away, but I think that because those two parts are very close together, it's actually quite easy to get into the groove there. Now, one of the nice things about a 60mm 
blade <clears throat> is that if you've got lots of cutting to do it's a bit like bigger wheels on your bike it gets you there a little bit faster so if you've got a 60 mil blade and particularly if you're cutting out lots of strip it's so effortless it really oh now i've locked my rotating cutting mat it's quick and easy to unlock isn't it <laughs> there we go that's better right then where was i all right so if you've got lots of cutting to do you're just going to get through it quicker and i don't know it seems to feel less effort cutting through this fabric using the 60 mil this is also a um, titanium coated blade am i right it is isn't it titanium yeah so the blade is coated with titanium titanium is harder than steel it is more hard wearing it will last longer so your blade will stay sharper for longer and it will also resist nicks and burrs which are the thing that stop our rotary cutter cutting accurately so you have a bit more longevity in your rotary blade um, again, any standard 60 mil blade will fit your cutter. So when you need to replace your blade, you don't have to use Fisker's blades. You can use generics. You can use Olfa. You can also put the, you know, crinkle cut blade in if you want. That's the one that does that sort of wavy or pinked edge. And again, just having that rotating mat just makes the job so easy peasy and the 60 mil blade just seems to glide through a little faster now we're down to our last five we've just got five of those left so if you want one be quick be quick be quick oh i can't stop cutting the gorgeous la vibo m fabric talking about being quick <laughs> If you want La Vie Boheme, if you want the beautiful life, when everyone has checked out, we're down to single figures. We're down to single figures on La Vie Boheme 10 inch layer cake from French General, from Moda. You get 42 10 inch squares. It's this beautiful, beautiful range of kind of lovely, soft, subtle reds, pearl, sort of slaty blue and tan. What colour would I bind in? I think I'd go probably tan. I probably go tan. Now when you come to bind a quilt that's hexagonal, you've got a couple of choices. Um, you can, once you've, once you, whatever you're going to do, layer and quilt it as it is. And then if you want straight edges, you can just go along with a rotary cutter and you can trim the edges straight. <coughs> Um, if you don't want to do that, if you want to leave the edge kind of zigzaggy, you can bind that too. Um, you can bind that with, with regular binding, okay? Um, it takes a little while longer, and what you'll need to do is create little mitres at each inner and outer bend, but it's easy enough to do. Or the other thing that you could do with a quilt like this is you could do what's called a knife edge binding. So, so what you would do there is um, you... You need to make sure that you stop quilting um, within a sort of a quarter of an inch of the edge. And then with your, with your backing fabric, effectively what you do, if I just show you with a couple of bits of fabric here. <clears throat> so, all right, so if this is your quilt top and this is your background fabric, what you will do, and I'm just gonna exaggerate it just to make it easy to demonstrate. What you would then do with that is you would is you would fold that down, okay. Sorry, you would fold that. You you would need to actually have it so that it was. Um, so you finish quilting here, and then you're going to fold that fabric down into the quilt so that just the edges and so then you would turn this top edge of your quilt as well so you would just go in there with a little iron and you would turn the two edges together like this and then you slip stitch by hand along the edge and down and across and up to create that edge and that's called a knife edge 
And actually, if you look at old fashioned quilts, proper, proper vintage quilts, they're not bound, really hardly any of them are bound. They have a knife edge binding. That's the really traditional binding or edging for a quilt. They have a knife edge. There we go. Okay, that charm, do check out. Um, yep. Of the design wall, yes, the design wall. Now this is K Facet, let me grab the box. Ooh been standing still for long I've stiffened up so this is K facet design wall it's 27.99 what you get is a meter and a half and it's gray flannel fabric and it is divided up into um, squares and they're two inch squares <coughs> so you get instructions inside on how to use it but essentially what you want to do you can either pin this to a wall <coughs> if you haven't got a spare wall you can pin this to closed curtains I've done that before now to create a design wall <coughs> or the other thing you can do if you've got the space to store it I would actually make a wooden frame just be using something like you know thin battens that you can screw or even staple together to create a frame and then wrap this around and just staple it along the edges to create a kind of rigid frame. You could maybe then store it underneath a double bed or something like that and then just kind of pull it out and prop it against the wall when you need a design wall. Okay, And then because it's a flannel fabric, your fabrics will kind of stick to it. It's a bit like fuzzy felt, do you remember that? Um, and it just means then that you can arrange your blocks however you want to and they stick to the design wall and then it gives you a chance to step back away from your work and assess how it's going together and whether you like the colour combination and you can walk back from a distance, you can leave it overnight, you can come back to it the following day and reassess how it looks and whether you're still happy or whether you want to have a little play around. The other thing, and I know that Kaif works like this, um, he's told me about doing this and also his Merry Stitchers who make his quilts for his books have told me this too. And um, when Kaif is designing a quilt, what he'll do is he'll go to the quilt maker with design wall and with all the fabrics cut out and then he will place them all on the, the um, design wall exactly where they need to go for the quilt and then the whole design wall gets rolled up with all the pieces of fabric in place and then that, that maker can then take that home, carefully unroll it and all of the pieces of fabric are in the right place for sewing together. Because of course, you know, um, where Kaif wants each individual piece of fabric is absolutely integral to the design, isn't it? It's not something that just happens. Now, I was talking earlier on with Susie about how even the most kind of random looking quilt is usually been put together with a great deal of care and trouble and probably lots of gnashing of teeth. And, oh, no, that won't work there. I'll have to move that. And oh, we've all done that, haven't we? We think we've got everything in the right place. And then suddenly we spot, you know, oh, I can't put that fabric next to that fabric. And you move one fabric and it throws everything out of whack and you have to sort of almost start again. So that's the point I usually say, oh, that's near enough, that'll do. Just sew it together. <laughs> Trust me, I am not that precious about where fabrics go. I don't, I don't spend that much time laboring over it because you know, at the end of the day, I think usually whatever we do, you know, it'll look lovely. If you've used fabrics that you love, it'll look lovely. Oh, now, Faye's messaged in. Ah, yeah, Faye, if you have any problems with your order, just give customer services a ring. They'll, the easiest way to sort out any issues or if you want to swap things around or change quantities. So Faye, I would recommend you ring our customer service line. It's free, it's UK based, they're wonderful people and they'll be able to sort out your order. All right, so that's the K-Facet design wall. 
lovely. All of our rotary cutters now have sold out. Well done if you managed to get yours. Now, the 10 inch charm. Are we limited stock? Oh, we're very close to selling out. Yeah, I'll just give it one last little little go, little hurrah. Um, it's La Vie Bohème. It's from French General. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. All based around <coughs> the sort of fabrics that you would have found mid 18th century Latin quarter of Paris. Of course, you know, Paris, like a lot of cities, has always been a real melting pot of different cultures and, you know, and uh, influences and designs. And French general use kind of French style. But of course, French style is influenced by so many different cultures as well. You know, like the Paisley, of course, originally comes from India, from woodblock prints and embroidery designs. These woodblock style prints here, again, very, very Indian in their origins, but also quintessentially French, European, very British in some ways. Um, but of course, if you trace them back, they have their roots in other cultures. I love that fabric there, beautiful. It's often the simpler designs or the more, if you like, background designs that I fall in love with. Yum. Gorgeous. Right, something completely different for the last few minutes. We've got a little rainbow bundle. Yeah, you can't really do me coming back without a rainbow. So first things first, let's get this in some kind of gorgeous order. I'm making uh, about 60 rainbow cupcakes this week. Hurrah. Ah. Yeah, let's reduce this. Why not? Come on. Let's do it. £22.74. Thank you very much. <coughs> that, will, that will do nicely. Um, so what you've got here is you've got this gorgeous, now colour wise, this one right here is this pomegranate. <coughs> oh, I'll tell you the proper colours. Pink, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, purple. They've all got fancy names, haven't they? These are Rose and Hubble, by the way. Azalea. Cardinal. Love that shade of red. Orange. Sunshine. Emerald. And candy blue. Really? It's purple. Oh, sorry, sorry, look at me, honestly, honestly. I'm shortchanging you. That's candy blue and that is purple. That's much better. Okay, now I'm happy. Okay, so we've got a seven piece rainbow. Correct, good. So azalea, cardinal, orange, sunshine, emerald, candy blue and purple. Delicious. For £22.74, you've got a total there of um, one and three quarter. No. One, two, three and a half metres. Three and a half metres for £22.74. Fabulous. Should be over £26. Yeah, fabulous. Love that. Just a few of those. Don't forget, you get two free patterns as well just for shopping with us today on my return, my triumphant return to Sewing Street. Shop today and receive two free instructions or patterns. 9 99 each, those. Now, um, that rainbow, you're getting three and a half metres and half a metre of that is actually free. So fantastic saving, great value as well. Now, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we've got Susie Duncan back with her block keeper. Super excited about this. Don't go anywhere. I will see you in two, three minutes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 44 33. 
Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
Hello friends, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. It's wonderful to have your company today. My first day back in about a month. It's so good to be here. We're celebrating by giving every single shopper today two free patterns with your purchase while stocks last. So if you shop with us today, you're gonna to get two free patterns sent at random to you with a value of 19.98. So enjoy those on us. Now then, in the hour today, we've got a brilliant, brilliant hour from Susie Duncan and a project which, Susie, you were asked for. Yes, so I, I had uh, one on set when I came, oh, a couple of months ago now, because mm -hmm. um, I carry all my blocks in a block keeper. And I had lots of messages after the show saying, could you please bring us the pattern? The pattern, exactly. So I did. <laughs> and here it is. So a block keeper, Susie, for, for people that yeah. don't know, it's kind of like a book, isn't it? It is, it's exactly that. And you can make it as big a leaf a book as you like. How many pages you want to put in is totally up to you. Mm -hmm. um, but the concept behind it is that when you make your blocks, you may not necessarily be making them and, put, and quilting them all in one hit. So you would need somewhere to store them and because you've used wadding as your pages they naturally adhere yeah um a bit like your design wall exactly concept. so it's kind of like an, an album isn't yeah, it it's like a absolutely. book like a fabric book yeah. with gorgeous quilt blocks on the outside of course why not make it beautiful and then inside you've got quilt batting and then you've got leaves if you like pages of quilt batting that you can store all of your blocks and as well I'm assuming that if you've got pieces of fabric yep. that you haven't sewn together yet you can also stick those down yes. and yeah and I then the whole thing ties together that's right um, so you can go uh, take it with you to classes keep it safe I actually can you can actually roll them as well oh superb yeah because it's all soft you can roll it so that everything stays in place and you can carry it with you so yep. just roll it up yep. like this and, and then and tie it up tie it and up everything stays where it should so yeah superb absolutely brilliant such a great concept yeah. i need to show you the bundles because they are selling very very quickly um, we're going to start off with liberty blues now first things first i must tell you of course is that the pattern for the block keeper on its own is sold out so the only way to get the pattern is within these bundles so you get your pattern 9.99's worth there and then you're getting these beautiful liberty fabrics now have a look at these you get four fat quarters and you'll get these four fat quarters that's gorgeous absolutely beautiful We've got single figures on this bundle oh, i love this little bit of sort of chartreuse green in there yeah. that's lovely and it's in the center of the madsy silhouette mm, flower as well beautiful. so they're all from the new coastal walk ah nice not then that i'm a liberty you also geek. get a fat quarter of the white solid and then on top of that you're also getting half a meter of our 80 20 quilt batting so you actually get basically everything that you need there to yes. make the block keeper with two page with well with your cover pages plus two extra sheets two extra double sides yeah. ace and um, can i ask if we want to do sold out sorry sold out that one if you wanted to make it with more pages can i just buy an extra half meter of yeah, batting you, do, you can add as many as you like okay because the design has got leeway um, and scope within it you yep. can add as many as you like um in there you just stitch them in awesome. so you can when your machine when you've run out of ability with your machine to stitch them in just get a big darning needle and sew them in yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can add as many as you like i wouldn't add more than six because no. then it becomes just too cumbersome and every time you've got to find you'll mm. have to start indexing mm. then <laughs> or i would um but definitely awesome. add as now, many as you like we're selling out very fast susie okay so I'll i'm going to go through this is this <laughs> next one what have we called this one brenda walton pink black keeper kit oh block sorry pink block keeper it's too early it's too early oh that's pretty i like that that's gorgeous oh this is really gorgeous love those pinks that's nice Ooh, yummy beautiful and then you've got a little bit of soft pink there 
So you get your instructions, you get your four fat quarters plus your solid, you also get your half meter of quilt batting as well. That's gorgeous. And I'm just going to undo this. This is the one I'm going to demo in. Oh, lovely, because that is gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, it is. That is so pretty. Now, if you, again, like if it reflects your style. Yeah. Again, I think that's it. Or the style of the quilt maybe you're making. It's really nice very very nice indeed prices are brilliant aren't they remember apart from thread you've got everything in this bundle to make your block keeper <clears throat> and now, you're learning <coughs> different blocks well exactly because although you use two quilt blocks one for the front one for the back you've included more patterns i have i've given you five amazing so yes. we can mix and match but we could make cushions quilts yep, absolutely bags. well that was the idea yeah mate and the orphan blocks you have when you're making a quilt yep. so they're the blocks you have left over this is a great way to store them fabulous i love it now this next bundle is lewis and irene pink and gray this is the one that's actually made up behind me so this is the one that we've seen it's about to sell out so let me just show you the elements that you're getting so it's got some lovely gold highlights in this really pretty there are five remaining this one's gorgeous look it's got um owls and, and silvery mushrooms moon. oh that silvery moon is amazing and is yeah, actually is. metallic -y. gorgeous love that and then you've got little feathers you've got some gray solid and your half meter of quilt batting as well for 29.99 sold out well done if you managed to get it and then this last one i think this is my favorite this is my favorite these are very me fabrics i really love this colorway mm. and i was really sad i didn't get sent it mm. <laughs> Let me show you this. This is gorgeous. So you've got, this is the um, Moda Navy Maria's Sky. Mm. I'll tell you why I like this, because I actually bought the whole collection of Maria's Sky. Yeah, I've got this one. Yeah, gorgeous. So these are your fabrics. Lovely. If you love sort of traditional, mm. very beautiful. <gasps> Absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got some, I think, is that silver mink? Or, no, it's not silver mink. No. That's... Um, champagne or tan mm, beautiful anyway so you get your all your fabrics you get your pattern and you get your half meter of quilt batting 29.99 now some of you have bought the pattern on its own you'll need some batting you've got some fabrics perhaps at home perhaps oh hello that was like do you remember the old test screen they used to have uh, yeah, on the with the blackboard yes. and the yeah, and the little girl who apparently was my double. Seriously, I looked exactly like her oh. when I was that age. Yeah, love it, love even it. hairstyle. Really? Mm. Oh. Apparently. Oh well, wow. we've all made mistakes, Susie. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just wanted to mention if you manage to get the pattern on its own. You might be in the mood for some fabrics to go with and some fat quarters would be rather lovely. I've got some rather gorgeous <gasps> Liberty fat quarter bundles. Are you loving these, Susie? Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> these would re work really well. I'll just go through these quickly and show you because there are some very nice options. Which one would you like to look at first? Can we go pinks and reds? This one, oh, I don't have a code on it. Oh, okay, fine. Um, so this one is gorgeous, kind of reds and pinks and a bit of green in there as well. Um, Do you want me to start undoing knots? No, nah, don't worry, don't worry. So this one we've got... Okay. Emily Bell. Uh, Emily Bell, yes. Wild is Rose. that Emily Bell? It, it's... No, it's not. Emily Silhouette, that's Ah, uh, Emily Silhouette. Now, how many fat quarters do we need? Is it four? Um, you can, well, actually, if you've only got three, you just substitute one in twice. Um, but all of the patterns use four different fabrics. Great. So, I mean, we've got five here. Those are yeah. stunning, aren't they? For $16.99? Are you kidding me? That's amazing value. That is for Liberty. I That's went to Liberty cool. a few weeks ago, and believe me, there was nothing there for sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, I know. I got nothing. A, I just wanted a bag, you know, the little bags yeah. they put everything in. Yeah. So I bought the the smallest scrap 
of Tarna Lawn I yeah. could find in yeah. the store just to get the bag. Eye watering. Yeah. Eye watering. Yeah. Right, but not here. These are amazing value. Um, could we do this one next? Because this is gorgeous. That's all from the Midsummer Flower Show. Midsummer though. Flowers. This is lush. Okay. Look at that. Sorry. There's... Yes. Yes. Chelsea Graphics Dunn. coming in for this. Is that real? Sixteen ninety nine again for five fat quarters of Liberty. These are beautiful. Now this would work perfectly for your block keeper. You could even make a few extra blocks. You could make two. If you throw in a few solids from your stash, or a bit of extra from your stash, you could make two of these. Get yourself some batting as well. I'll get to batting in a second for $16.99. Those are braille. We should have held these back until 12 o'clock, but they somehow seemed appropriate. I think so. I think yeah. they'd be amazing. This block keeper would make a beautiful gift for a quilting friend. It would actually, really lovely gift. But also <clears> if you're part of a quilting um, group, you know, where you all meet up, mm -hmm. it'd be a really nice project to do as a group. Oh, I like that. So now what's your angel policy in terms of making and selling or? I have absolutely <coughs> no problem with people making them, selling them. But if you would kindly say where the pattern came mm. from and who designed it yeah. i would appreciate it very um, much and rather you didn't copy it and sell it on yeah don't <laughs> copy the pattern yeah next one. Oh, this is lovely this is really summery oh, yummy yummy love these fabric combinations <gasps> yes so lovely. yes is yes Got to do them while you're here, Susie. Absolutely. You're a big fan, aren't you? I am. I can't get over the prices for five Liberty Fat Quarters. Yeah, that is mental. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Oh. But these are a great way of, and with the pattern as well, you, you get to learn different blocks and different methods of construction. Yeah. So you could, even if you didn't want to make the block keeper with the wadding and the, doing the different blocks, you could make yourself tote bags which you could then gift yeah of course you and can say use my top tip use the ribbon that mm -hmm. your fat quarter comes in yeah cut it up and just put a loop of it somewhere inside the oh, lining nice. or on the outside so they know it's liberty like a label yeah yes very these, smart I absolutely adore. these are from artist home collection so now fun. don't you worry if you're worrying at home that Susie's not going to get a chance to demo <laughs> everything don't worry she will because we're going to run over we're going to we're going to run over as long as you don't mind Susie <coughs> I haven't can we go keep you for a little longer you can thank you, you darling can. most definitely and thank you for the tea and the donuts by the way that's all right Susie always looks after us when she comes yeah, in I didn't have a chance to bake yesterday so I felt guilty no Fab. Now we've got a couple of blues and yellows. These are really lovely. This is gorgeous. These are artists' home collection as well. I'm d I'm telling people collections because there are collectors of the collections. Yeah, yeah. So it's useful to know what they're from. Mm. I love uh, the yellow in this set. Me it's too. A really clean, crisp, summery yellow. It's a bit sort of summer in Provence, isn't it? Yes. Very nice. That Love is one that. of my favourite. It's gorgeous, prints, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, lovely. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, I've got now to open it, that, that one was in the pink bundle, but looks completely different in the yeah, blues and lemons. It? Mm. Yeah, you get different <gasps> elements popping at you. Yeah. Oh, now Glynis, sorry. Love the block keeper, but missed out on the pattern. Any more coming back, please? Glynis, not today, I'm afraid, no. But why don't you get yourself one of our lovely bundles? I mean, they're great value. You get all of your fabrics and your pattern and your batting as well. But in fairness, we have only got five bundles left. What, of everything? Out of all of them? Gosh, and there, okay. were, there were a lot. Oh, Susie. I'll have to come back. <laughs> Susie, promise me, promise me. Yeah. Only if you're here with me. This is our last <laughs> Liberty Bundle. Huh. If you've managed to get the instructions on there. Or if you're buying a bundle and you think, but I want to make another lovely. If you want to make another block keeper as a gift, 
Um, why not get yourself, that is beautiful. Why not get yourself a little bundle of Liberty while you're here for 16 99 Yeah. Incredible. It is amazing value. Do you want me to just do um, yeah. batting by the half meter? You will need it for your pages. I mean, you get it in the kit, of course, but if you want to do extra pages, or if you bought the kit, the, if you bought the pattern rather, and you want some batting, here it is. So half a meter, 6.99. Now this is our cotton mix wadding. It's 80% cotton, 20% polyester, light and soft blend. It's 244 centimeters wide and you're getting half a meter. Susie, is that enough? That will do your three, that will do your, um, covers and two sets two double pages yes awesome yeah you'll have a tiny bit left over yeah so you can do a like a quilt as you go mat or something gorgeous um but i deliberately did the measurements so that it just fitted best value yeah love that perfect okay so that is everything that we've got so now susie I think Can I should just hand something. over the rest of the morning to you, my love. Okay, do. Thank you for being so patient. That's I do right. appreciate no, that. No, 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 no. It's fine. It gives me a chance to gather my head. <laughs> well, I probably need a bit longer than that. But <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as Stuart's already said, the um, whole concept of this was just to be a, a craft hand tool for you. But I've also given you lots of choices in here. I've given you basic instructions on how to do half square triangles and flying geese my way. Um, it's not necessarily the way that you always do them and it's not necessarily the way that is the correct way for everybody else, but they are. A, it's the way that I choose to make them. Mm. So um, if you don't want to use my method, then use your own by all means, it doesn't matter. What I've also done is given you five different quilt blocks um, some of them in are flying geese, some are strip paste, some are squares. So you've got a choice in there. So if you haven't tackled a particular method, then it gives you an opportunity to try one out. Um, with the amount of fabric you've got, the four fat quarters in the kit, you've got enough to make two blocks, whichever two you choose. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I haven't given you enough just to do you know, rail fence and a flying geese. You can cherry pick between, it doesn't matter, whatever Perfect. you prefer. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I've allowed you to do, because of the way I've colored everything in the, the kit, you can choose which fabric sits where on the finished block. Mm -hmm. So I haven't said, right, this particular fabric is fabric one, etc., etc. but I've color coded it within my grids so that you can see what's what. Makes it easy. It does. Um, you do have an extra sheet in there because when I was making mine up, having pressed print on the printer, or my printer man had anyway, um, I realized that I'd missed one word out. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't happy. Was it a really, really important word? No, it was a really pathetic word, but it meant it what was read, the word? I can't even remember now, but I remember <coughs> the. it was something really ridiculous. And when you read the sentence without it, it was like, what? So I said, can I just add this? And he said, no. So I said, well, I'll just add a page then. <laughs> so you've got an extra page. So that's replacing that section, in, well, the um, section in there. So it's that's why you've got the extra page, just to tell you. Okay. Um, so... With the two bot keepers I've already sort of half made, well, one fully made, the one that Stuart's yeah. got. So, I'll, shall I show you the different blocks? So, the first one is this rail fence block, um, which is strip pieced. The other strip piece one is the arrow one, um, which I really love. And you can mm. play around with placement on all of these, actually. Then you've got what I've called, what did I call this? Um, I called this one Surrounded Star. Surrounded Star? Because it was surrounded. Yeah, 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 on all sides. Yeah, and again, you can play around with placement of your colours and everything. Then you've got um, a, 
I called this the spinning flying geese because it literally moves round mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and round. Yes, yeah, a bit like a sort of whirly yep. gig or windmill, isn't it? Absolutely. And then you've got the extra one which I haven't yet made, which is this one, which is your half square triangle block. So it's just all half square triangles put together. And again, you can, I won't say mess around, but you can play around with placement so that they all line mess up. Mess around with it. Yeah, just mess around. Have a good old play. Exactly. <laughs> um, you've got enough in the kit for your binding as well. So you haven't oh, got good. to go and find that and your ties mm -hmm. you can choose what you make out them out of on the finished one here i've chosen to <coughs> use different pieces uh, the fabrics that are in the, the actual kit to make my ties and you can make them as long as you like i suppose I've, you could use ribbon for that as well couldn't you, you or your, could use ribbon you know your liberty ribbon that ties yep, up your bundle absolutely <coughs> you can <coughs> bit of that um, and for this one i've just used some of the plain fabric so you use whatever you want mm -hmm. so Let's make some blocks. Yeah, let's do it. And then I'll also show you how I finish the binding. Um, I was thinking as well, Susie, yes. with five blocks, yes. I'm just thinking if you made three of each of the five blocks and then put them together with sashing, you've yep. got a three by three lap quilt or bed quilt yep. out of the same pattern, yep. haven't you? You've taught us how to do binding. Yeah and all that sort of thing. I mean, there's loads of value here. It is, absolutely. And you could Brilliant. also just do a run of two mm. and use them um, underneath your sewing machine as a sewing machine mat. Brilliant, so, so it, much it, idea. If you're like me and you're sewing in the early hours of the morning, it just deadens the noise slightly gotcha. for the people in the house gotcha. that are sensible and asleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you a late night sewer? Might be early morning. I'm a ev all twenty four seven. Oh yeah, really? Are you? See, yeah. I definitely get to a point where I'm done. Like yeah, I have to eight o'clock. Yeah, done. no, at one a well no, I think I I gave up at half twelve last okay. night because oh. I thought the alarm's going off at half four. It <laughs> might be an idea to get some. See, sleep. I'll go to bed and I'll get up at four o'clock or five o'clock well, and I start sewing anyway. then. I do that anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. 4.30 is a, a normal alarm for me. Is it? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That is early. Well, you get, it's what you get used to. Is that so, to feed the hedgehogs? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, rail fence is, base, is the basic one. So mm -hmm. you're going to cut two and a half inch strips, sew them together long sides to get, um, on the long sides, in sets of three, so you can mess around with the say uh, the fabric layout. But if you keep the order the same, you need two sets of strips. Okay. Um, it means that you can get this cross effect. Yes. Going on, at least if you keep that placement the same. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want that, make it random. Doesn't matter, does it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a useful one. And then when you've done that, you need to subcut this down into your <coughs> block, mm -hmm. which is your secondary block. And you're going to just cut uh, six and a half inches. And I use one of the seams as my horizontal reference, as well as having the side, just oh, yeah. to make sure I've got <coughs> the squares. And then I never throw these away because these are always useful for borders, add them together, mm. or you can use them for your EPP or mm -hmm. anything like that. So I would, they always go in my stash for later. Fab. So you're going to make four of these. And then how you place them together, you'll notice that there are no seams to match Hurrah. at this stage, which is awesome news. Um, but you, you get different effects depending on which fabrics you line up so you can mess around with how you place. But that's a really quick and easy one to put together. Mm. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like finished is in the blue. Oh, it's really cute. It is really cute. And I've chosen to put the darker fabric on the inside so that that cross really stands out. Mm. Mm. And then um, with all the blocks, you're gonna add a border. Now, the, the um, finished size of this is 15 inches, and I wanted that because most of the blocks I make are tend to be under 15 inches. Right. There's a couple that I've made that were bigger, and they were 
like medallion pieces, but most of them come under that 15 inch mark, mm -hmm. usually around 12 and a half inches, which means that when I'm moving around and they're in here stored, they're not gonna overhang the edges mm. and you're not gonna get any dog ears or knocks or anything. So that's why, that's where the measurement came from. But if you want to make it bigger, then you just increase the border size. Is um, all I'm Perfect. gonna add on that one. So that's that one. A lovely message for you from Susan. He says, morning to you both. I'm so glad I ordered the instructions on pre-order. It's a useful function. The block patterns are beautiful, Susie, just as you are as a person. Oh, that's very kind. Oh. Thank you very much. That's lovely. And Stuart. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much, it's beautiful. <laughs> I've just realised I think I need a little bit of powder, don't I? I've gone all shiny. Have you? I might run off, yeah. I oh, might just right run then. off and de-shine. I've, I've got some down here. Have you? Uh -huh. Do you know you're just a professional with a capital P? Well, except I forgot, <laughs> forgot the nail file. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a small thing. Do you know I why I always carry a nail file with me? It's not for my nails at all. It's um, to escape from prison, that's right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, it's um, I use it for templates. Yes. If I'm doing templates, especially cardboard templates, yeah. you know, I'll cut it as well as I can, but I never get it completely yeah. smooth. So, so rather than keep cutting down. away, I just file the edge just to get it nice yeah. and smooth. That's the only reason why I've ever got a nail file. Really? Mm. Well, I, I've i always got one in my paper craft stash. Ah. Um, but yeah, I think, I yeah, it was just a mental thing. I, I've struggled to grow my nails, especially in winter anyway. And I was so chuffed with the fact that this hot weather means that not only do I function well, mm -hmm. but my nails grow. Your nails grow. grow. And I was like, yay! <laughs> but then, my mum always yeah. used to say, eat a cube of jelly. I did that. It doesn't make any doesn't difference. doesn't make any difference. And it tastes disgusting. Please don't tell my mum that. She is watching. Yeah, sorry. Morning, mum! Yeah. <laughs> Did your mum my mum's really to... missed me on air, by the way. <laughs> she Bless her. Better. Yes, she has. She has. Oh. Because she can switch me off, you see, Susan. Yeah, that's what my parents say as well. We put you on fast forward when you're rabbiting. <laughs> and good morning to my parents-in-law, Rod and Diane, if you are watching too. Quite often when I'm on, they don't watch. <laughs> they love John. They love John. <laughs> oh. so, let's have a look at Brickyard Arrow. Oh yes. Why not? Yes. So I will. I won't take the whole thing because we will be here forever. Um, but with this one, again, you're going to cut strips. But the important thing is placement with this one mm -hmm. if you want to get that arrow type effect. And you need to um, you you put them in pairs, same pairs. So I've got done the green and the, the burgundy together and yeah. the pink and the white together. And then you're going to put those pairs together. You're going to press your seams open and you want to make sure that you line your pairs exactly the same way. So I've got white at the bottom, burgundy oh, yeah. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I've done the same here. <coughs> and you're going to match your seams along that <coughs> strip and the easiest way to do that is to put them together and sort of rub with your fingers to sort of guess that the channels meet but then what I do is do the rolling technique so I'll find an end and I'll roll down so that I know those ends are together I'll do the same at the other end so again, just roll to match the seams. You can clip, of course, whichever you prefer. And then you find, if you've pressed properly, that that seam will align all the way down. Mm -hmm. And that is important because you don't want squiffy arrows. Because bent arrows tend to fly in the wrong direction. They certainly do, <laughs> certainly in my experience, yes. Um, so I just put a few pins in, away from the edge, notice, they're all along the middle, holding that in. And then you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch 
all the way down both sides. <coughs> oh, okay. You don't have to stitch at this rate. You can run it at the rate I'm you're say, comfortable with. It's like with. something's about to take off. I have been known to take off. Now you can see why I have to have a mat underneath my sewing Absolutely, machine. Absolutely, <laughs> when you're sewing at four in the morning. Interesting though, I just want to point out, Susie, your pins are rather special. Oh, they're they June Taylor, aren't so they? They are, Look yeah. Look at these. They are called magic pins for a reason. Mm. They are awesome. Now I went for acupuncture once and I'm sure it was something <laughs> like that. Anyway, it certainly looks similar. Now these, we don't have them on the show today, but we do have them coming up. Is it the 16th of August? So just before Festival of Quilts. It is. You've got Jill. I'm Rep here, aren't I? I'm oh, here. Yeah. I'm presenting that day. It's me. Wow. Oh, I've got jewel reps from June Taylor. Yes, you have. Oh, that's quite a coup. But uh, yeah, and she's bringing you some extra bits as well. Is she, like me personally? No. Oh. Sorry. Like a gift? No. 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 Everyone's getting it. But, oh. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, Secret. amazing. But magic pins, honestly, if you're looking for pins, yeah. and I know they are on the face on you know on screen you're looking at it and you're saying how much for pins that's crazy but what makes these the pin that you will never have to replace unless you lose them um is how good they are <coughs> they are literally awesome pins mm. they're really mm. long ideal for quilting they'll go through so when i was when you're making this quilt block keeper they'll go through all six pages because um, they're so long they're really sharp so they don't make massive holes in your fabric when mm, you're pinning mm. they've got this really easy grip end which is also heat resistant so oh, you that's can cool keep them into mm. iron very good very yeah. good so i cannot rate them highly enough 16th of august put it in your diary yeah. just before festival now that ruler you're using is one of my new favorite susie i love it it is good it is brilliant it is it is if you haven't got it so this is the non-slip multi-size six inch flying geese and 45 slash 90 degree ruler triangle ruler it is amazing one size does your flying geese the other side does your half square triangles at 45 90 degrees but you can also use it to do your um half square triangles and um all of those quarter square things. triangles as Everything, well yeah. yeah but what is great about it is it tells you exactly what you need to cut in the way of strips mm. to get a finished size um, flying geese or half square and quarter square triangles yeah. it is just amazing yeah. and it's the thing i found such genius about it as well i was saying to susie before the show is rather than the seven eighths or and a yeah. quarter which we're used to with normal half square triangle and, and quarter square triangles these are all it's a two inch strip or a three and a half yeah. inch strip or a four inch strip it is so easy to cut out the pieces and they're so accurate yes absolutely they are and uh, well yeah it's just brilliant and it, it's still got that non-slip piece on it it's also got this genius concept in the middle yeah, the yeah, little yeah. bite Yes. Which means you can cutter. rotary cut <laughs> even the biggest piece. It is just phenomenal. And of course, you've got your QR code to watch the videos. Absolutely brilliant ruler. If you haven't got it, you de definitely need it. So with this um, particular block, you're going to line up along. Um, I tend to use the, uh, it's hard to see on this fabric, I think that you see you've got a white dash line mm -hmm. so I tend to put that along my stitching because oh, it okay. looks like stitching because um, usually <coughs> that's going to be my straightest thing also going to make sure that I'm well away from any selvages or raggedy ends I want a nice clean cut mm -hmm. and I am going to need to spin this aren't I? will be a lot easier I'll tell you what should we unlock the mat and we'll use it as a rotating cutting Let's do it, mat. let's do it. 
so I love this concept. Oh, they're just superb, aren't I, they? Yeah, I mean, I have got rotating cutting mats. I haven't got this size. You say, have you got that colour? No, I haven't got this colour. There you go. I do like this colour um, very much. So let's go back. We've got our stitch line lining up. And you can tell where you need to go because it's the width of the fabric, really. If you want to make it smaller, just use a smaller strip to start with. So your first cut is going to be up this way mm -hmm. and this is why a rotating cutting mat is ideal because normally I'd have to pick that up and turn it round which is what the instructions tell you but if mm -hmm. you've got a rotating cutting mat you can just whiz it round because the last thing, well you can if you don't catch it, mm -hmm. the last thing you want to do is um, cut towards you. Not a good plan, never works well unless you've got shares in elastoplast. And then you're gonna cut up that way. Make sure that you cut through. Remember that seam, they've got a lot of fabric going on. Gonna whiz the rule around, mm -hmm. line it back up. Don't always be reliant on that that edge has stayed the same. Make sure you lie all you line up all the way along. So you could trim that edge again, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely you can. Yeah. Yvonne who's messaged in by the way, just to let you know, we can't put the graphics up now for what Suze is making because everything's sold out quite a few minutes ago. So we won't be able to get any more in. So we won't be putting those graphics back up on screen. Um, we're hoping to get them back in in the future. But now um, in terms of, of what we have to sell, if you like, um, is things like tools. Gosh. And then you've, you can get three from one of the fat quarter strip lengths and you just need four so mm -hmm. I'm just going to cut one more so Fab. I'm going to do my I want to say a bright good morning to Karin who's watching my is. lovely friend Karin Hellaby good morning Karin how are you my love will you be at Festival of Quilts will we get together and have a chat I always look forward to seeing do you know Karin Karin Hellaby probably I'm rubbish with names. Really oh, rubbish with names. We'd, we'd need to get her on air, actually. She's one of the most innovative quilters I've ever met. Yeah. She's invented some of the most sort of iconic patterns and methods. Karen's got a, um, a brain unlike mine, for sure. She can work Lateral out thinking. amazing, yeah. amazing concepts and how to do things. Yeah. So, big it's, fan. That is an incredible skill to be <laughs> yeah. able to do that, isn't yeah. it? Um, so I'm going to unpick these bits. So when you have got your triangles, if you gently pull at the top edge, the okay. narrow edge, those seams will come open for you. Oh, and look at that. That's clever. And you've got your stripped block, which is brilliant. Uh-huh. I like that. Yeah, this was actually a block that I used on my ruler bag pattern that we had oh, quite a yeah, while ago. Oh yeah, but bigger scale. But bigger scale. Mm -hmm. So this, and I think I did it with six strips, if I remember rightly, or four. This is cool though, it's a great pattern. Lucky you if you managed to get it, because you learn so many different techniques. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? We love to gather our techniques. Yeah. And if, I thought this was really good. If you're new to quilting, you've never quilted before, this is a really good way of introducing yourself into the quilt world yeah. with a few blocks under your belt and you get something to keep those blocks in, which is really helpful. Mm, totally um, agree. And then I press those seams open. I tend to press most of my seams open. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah, I remember going once to a like a sort of lecture that was about pre uh, pressing. Yes. The importance of and which yeah. way to press and that sort of thing. And it did, I must admit, it did get very complicated and a little bit over our heads after a while. And I remember lovely Jean Campbell, yeah. uh, who is no longer with us, but absolutely wonderful quilter and a great friend of mine. I remember her nudging me and saying, you know, in the old days, we used to just press all the seams open. There's really nothing wrong in doing that. And it's true, really. Yeah. And I say to people now, if you're ever in any doubt, you can press the seams open. Yeah. There's no hard and fast rules. Absolutely, there aren't any hard and fast rules. And at the end of the day, 
the most important thing about pressing is not what direction you've pressed, but the overall finished element is as flat, Get it flat yeah. as it can possibly be That's because it. that get means that your fabric is flat to yeah. stitch the next stage. Because yeah. if that's if you've got bubbles and buckles and it's mm -hmm. not flat, you might as well not bother. Flat and the right size. Yeah. It's what we're aiming exactly. for, isn't it? It is, yeah. We'll get there one day, <laughs> folks. We'll yeah. get there one day. So when you then come to put this together, there I've the uh, diagram in the in the book shows you that if you place it, because you'll get two different blocks, if you notice. And you can place, you can mess about with how these are put together. You can have them as arrows going in different directions. Oh, I needed to, sorry, I did need to cut an extra one because you need two of each to get the arrow because you'll notice they are wrong. Oh, well, it's not okay. wrong. I just need an extra one. Let me just cut an extra and then what I'm about to say will make perfect sense, <laughs> which will be a first, I believe. Today. No, that's not true. Something I say making sense. <laughs> Right, let's do this again. So yeah, you'll need two from each set or you can get your six and you've got an extra couple of little orphan blocks to put in your block keeper when you mm. finish. Mm. Start the next process. These make really good mug mats actually oh, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, I like that. Or mug rugs as they're also called. I love that expression. I love the fact that my mm -hmm. mug has a rug. <laughs> I um, don't know why, it's really silly isn't it, but I have several mug rugs in my, and my, I ha always have like a cup of tea and a glass of water on the go, mm -hmm. and I have a specific mug rug for each one, because like I'm it. that OCD. No? I do go into a cell each night if you're worried. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as I say, this I did as an arrow, but you don't have to do an arrow because you've got your different blocks. So you could do this design, you could alternate it and do oh yeah, that, like that design. Mm, that's you gorgeous. You can turn these on their heads so you get the outer ones. So you can really mess around with this concept or you can follow the destructions and do the arrow. It's entirely up to you, which you do. So the arrow would be like this. Oh, yeah, 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 that's so clever. Yeah. So you then piece the two rows together, and so you're going to line up your seams. But remember, you've got that seam allowance, quarter inch, so it'll work. Don't panic. And then you'll stitch your rows together. So that's the Brickyard Arrow Block. Now, with that <coughs> one, because of the way we've cut it, you will need to add an extra border to it. Okay. Um, which you'll notice on this one I've already done. So I just did a double border. Oh, I see. To make it up to the 15 and a half. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest that whenever you've made your block, you do measure it before you cut your border strips. Mm -hmm. Because if you need to, you can, you've got wiggle room to cut them to make it up to the 15 and a half inch. Like a bit of wiggle room, we lovely. Love, we love a wiggle room. Oh, really cool, really cool. Two great blocks and it's amazing, isn't it, what you can do with strips <laughs> and how different methods can create such completely different blocks. Love that. Can I just mention the ruler that um, Susie was using? It's become my new best friend. And I'm gonna be absolutely honest with you. I was given it to have a go with and I thought, this is one of those, you know, bit gimmicky don't really need this i can make half square triangles and quarter square triangles with my eyes shut i don't need this but then i actually tried using it and i was using it to make units that finished at one and a half inches mm. which meant i was having to cut squares that were two and three eighths of an inch and then mark the diagonals and then sew either side and then cut it down and press them up. that's the traditional method and then i tried it with this and i had to cut two inch strips with them already layered together cut 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 sew them and they were done and i thought to myself this is this is why i need this it's a game changer yeah and you know it's so interesting because you can think no, I know how to do that. I don't need that. I don't need any new methods, thank you very much. And then you think, well, actually, that's really clever. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's always a new way of doing anything, but when it actually ticks the box yes, of time I'm saving in. and accuracy, I'm especially in. with quilting, it yeah. is just resolved. It's true. And as I said to you, I'm making Lady of the Lake blocks, yeah. nine inch finished, and they have 21 half square triangles per block. So, you know, anything I can do to streamline that process is a big tick from me. Absolutely. So yeah, just love yeah. it. And it makes so many different sizes of half square, quarter square triangles and flying geese. Brilliant, brilliant product. And that's from me as well as Susie. We love yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually use a lot of my creative grids rulers for paper craft as well. Oh, do you? Yeah, I don't use the same rotary cutter. I have to, right. I have a paper dedicated mm -hmm. rotary cutter. But yeah, because I, I can do pretty much what I do with quilting, I can do with paper as well. Mm -hmm. So to create my backgrounds. Love but it. That's because I do both. So shall we have a look at the spinning flying geese? Let's do it. I'm sure there is a proper name for this block, but I just invent names as yeah, I go yeah. along. So I have pre-prepared some of this um, just to get the ball rolling, really. So you're going to choose your fabrics and two of them you're going to cut into rectangles and the other two you're going to cut squares. And you need twice as many of um, the small squares of one than you do no sorry three times of one than you do the other mm -hmm. and the middle windmill is one set and the outer windmill is another oh okay so you like some that are matching uh, pairs absolutely and some yeah. that are one of each yeah so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make these into half square triangles now i've as we've we've said already there's lots of ways of doing this um i've written this so that you've got plenty of leeway because I thought this was a good beginner's project and I when I first did half square triangles I followed the seven eighths rule right and I have to say most of my blocks weren't quite mm. what they should have been because <clears throat> when you're first beginning you're nervous you're getting to grips with that quarter inch and it all goes wrong um, so I've allowed an inch bigger start point instead of seven you, eight yes so that you've got that leeway mm -hmm. i know you've got then trimming to do but it's better than whittling over it so i've given you a method of half square triangles where you add a quarter inch seam either side of the diagonal now you can mark your diagonal and just run a quarter inch if you know your quarter inch on your machine or you can do what I tend to do, and that's mark in my diagon my quarter inch diagonals. Um, so I just mark. No, I don't want to mark my quarter inch. What am I talking about? We're doing flying geese. I'm not awake, am I? So what I'm going to do is mark the diagonal in this occasion. But what I was going to do is my top tip. So oh. we're going to cut off a corner eventually. Yeah. Well, all those corners I cut off, I save. Yes. Because I'm going to make a scrap quilt yes. out of them. So what I actually do is from that diagonal, I mark a half inch. Do I mark? It? Yeah, mark a half inch line. And I'll, it all will become clear. So you're then going to place one from top left to bottom right and stitch it. Um, and then this one I haven't marked but I would normally have marked that and sewn it. But you're then gonna cut off that corner. <coughs> like that. So that one will go in my pile and we're gonna press that back. So that's given us a neat rectangle again. So this one I'm now gonna place top right to bottom left mm -hmm. and they should cross. I'm going to hold it in place with a pin and that one we will be stitching. And, and that's the kind of thing that can throw beginner patchworkers, isn't it? Yeah. That, that instinctively we want the V to finish at the outer edge, but Absolutely. there is that crossover and it's a quarter of an inch away yeah. from the edge so that when you sew your blocks together, you still have those points. Yeah exactly you've got to trust the process you have so we're going to stitch that one 
and I'm just going to mark up for the other one remember you've got one of each of the other fabrics you haven't got <coughs> two the same and it is important that they go the same way on every single one of the four mm -hmm. so you always put the same one on first oh okay um, because otherwise your windmill won't be a windmill. So you always have the pale pink on one side, on the left, yeah. for example, yeah. and the burgundy That's on the right. right. And then we're going to stitch that. Um, the other thing when you're stitching, because you're starting on a tiny point, you may want to have um, an extra bit of fabric. That some people call them a donkey, some people call them a leader. Yep. Or you might uh, want to just start a bit in and back stitch a little bit because that way the fabric end doesn't get caught in your teeth yep not your teeth your the, teeth yeah the sewing machine teeth but the reason if I just run along that extra line that I did that half inch it will make more sense when I do this so bear in mind that one's got my extra half inch mm -hmm. I'm going to take that pin out and what you're going to do is cut off at quarter inch so it's basically between the two, or you can do it with a pair of scissors. It doesn't have to be dead accurate. But that waist now has become a square mm. I can use for another project. Of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We so don't want to throw those bits of fabric away. That's no, useful. It is. I mean, a tiny little bit on a corner, I'll accept. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, like the dog ears. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's my limit, I'm yeah, afraid. Yeah, I'm not so <laughs> There's a book in that, isn't there? Sewing with dog ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not writing it. No, nor am I. Can you imagine my dog's face if I said that? Oh, a little he Ginny Hendrix. He's not little. That's going to stick, He's Jan. Huge. It's going to stick, Jan. He's a huge. Is he? Yeah. Is, he a t is he a type of dog or is he's, he a Yeah, he's mix? a Hungarian Vizsla. Oh, a Hungarian Vizsla. Yeah. Isn't that from Harry Potter? Oh, I don't know. Well, no, I'm joking. <laughs> What's a Hungarian Vizsla look like? Oh, so, um, do you know what a Weimarana looks yes. like? Yes. So imagine Beautiful. that Love in Weimaranas. a ginger. Ooh. That Ooh. is what Hendrix is. He is, I mean, he is a stunning He sounds like a handsome boy. He is, but he is a bit of a prince as well. Is he? They know, don't they? Yeah. They know. He is hilarious. That has us <laughs> in stitches. Oh, It's rather a good segue, actually, to our dog of the month, don't you think? Yeah. Don't you think? That wasn't We're, planned at all. Well, do you know what? We are currently running a little bit of a competizione. All right, which is we I'm going to be launching the new dog of the month quilt uh, series blocks block of the month. Yeah, and it's dog of the month. But normally we design 12, but this time we've designed 11 because the 12th block, the 12th dog is going to be one of your dogs. Your dog can be immortalised in yours and everybody else's quilt because we're going to pick one dog out of everybody that emails in to put in that block of the month programme. So this is really exciting. Now, very, very specific instructions on how to enter your dog for this competition. <laughs> enter enter to be in with a chance of your dog becoming a dog of the month at sewing street <laughs> i'm doing my voiceover voice can you tell every year we do a monthly animal of the month printed on a fabric panel for sewing projects if you think your pooch should be printed then make sure to get involved someone labored over that didn't they now how to enter email a picture of your dog too now this is super important marketing underscore ss at sewingstreet.com. If you send your email to the regular email address, I'm afraid it will not go in to the competition. Ooh. It will not go into the competition. You must send it to marketing underscore ss at sewingstreet.com. Please include the name, the breed. Pure breeds are not required, by the way. If your dog is a beautiful mixture, we love them too. Um, just as likely to get in, does not have to be a posh breed at all. Um, and any other fun details you want to share about your pup. If you've got a funny story, if you, you know, how you got your dog was, is, a, is a cute or a heartwarming story. We love that too. Any details you want to, to send us. If your dog is really special to you for a particular reason, tell us. And um, 
and of course you know the cute photographs really going to grab our attention so make it a really good picture a nice clear picture as well um, and your dog might win and become a cover girl or a cover boy <laughs> That's quite something, though, isn't it? To have oh, your dog absolutely. immortalized. Yeah, and what a great gift to then pa you know, give to I other know. people. Oh, it's cute. It'd be really cute. Um, so, with each of these, you're going to then stitch the two different fine geese in pairs. Okay. Making sure that the geese go the same way. Yes. Um, and you can trim them square, of course, before you do this. Or you can just do what I do and wing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Depends on whether you're doing live TV or doing this at home in the comfort of your own. Do you own. know what? If I get through, I think it's a good day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I just wait for the phone calls from family telling me what I did wrong. Or, no, <laughs> or the funny bits. really? No, no they never say I did Aww. anything wrong. See, I, you know, my mum watches every time I'm on and... and you know, a mother's love is very special, isn't it? I could literally stand here and read out a shopping list and my mum would cheer. She's my biggest cheerleader. Oh, she is, it's true. Um, so, yeah. So, because we're going to offset these, I'm going to press these in one direction and I tend to press up towards the open sky bit. Yeah, because it's kind of like it's a flat, you're away it, from the point. Yeah, absolutely. And it wants, it. the fabric actually, I... I I was going to say I listen to my fabric. I say that all the time, yeah. Susie. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> you do find <laughs> that your fabric wants to go in a certain direction. And okay. there's no point fighting with it, mm -hmm. is there? No. Life's too short for fights. <laughs> Did you mention a cell? <laughs> it's padded. <laughs> No, I totally agree with you. Often, if you just listen to the fabric and go with it, you get the best results. Absolutely. So we're now going to spin these so that they are all opposing. Huzzah. And we've got our windmill. Yay, now, that I've looks chosen gorgeous. to put my dark on the outside this yeah, time. Yeah, I like that. But you could have your dark in the middle. Really like that. But it's a really simple way to make a block. Oh, it's ever so effective. And when you look at the block, it looks very complicated. It does. It's just clever placement of fabric. Yeah. And if you don't want a windmill, remember, mm -hmm. you can line them up and make two squares. Oh, that's cute. That would be a really nice border around a quilt, yeah, wouldn't would, it? Yeah, would, wouldn't it? Look really cool. Mm. Or you can, I mean, you can put those that way. You can just mess around as much as you want with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have all your flying geese going one way, one side. You can have them going the other way, the other side. Mm. So you do, and that, oh, that's you get pretty. little bow ties. That's pretty. Oh, Susie, look at that. Oh, no, get me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do play with your blocks. Yeah. Yes. And then we always say, don't play with your food. I always think it's quite good to play with your food, but do, <laughs> do play with your blocks. You get yeah. some amazing ideas. Absolutely, yeah. So that's the... Um, well, we've done, what, three out of the... We certainly have. We have, yeah. <coughs> Susie, you've been an absolute running. trooper. Um, and do you want me to quickly go through the, the other bits? Well, I do, but it's Hannah's decision. Oh, OK. What's... Hannah says, yes, please. <laughs> I don't want you to miss your bus, though, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I just quickly go through. Once you've m decided on your blocks, you've added your borders, you're then going to um, put your first bit of wadding on the back. Now I used um, adhesive, spray adhesive, mm -hmm. to put on my wadding yeah. and rolled it out. The borders of your plane, you need double the size in the middle because otherwise your spine is uber thin. Right. You want a wide spine, remember. Um, always cut your wadding a slightly wider on all dimensions before you do this and then you must do this next stage which is the quilting stage now if you don't want to go quilting mm -hmm. then we do like we love quilting yeah but some people find it quite scary well this what? is a great opportunity to absolutely. practice absolutely it is a great opportunity we're not letting you off there you're quilting it yes well you have to because otherwise it's not going to hold its shape right um so if all you do is like i have with this is literally just done two diagonal lines mm -hmm. that's fine 
but uh, you might want to do a bit more so I just did round the edge of the cross on this one but the important ones are to go round each of the blocks now why is that so important otherwise you're going to get too much movement of your ah, wadding okay. and you're going to start seeing it below and mm -hmm. bump and it's just not great is it we don't like billows but i do quite like the wadding design mm -hmm. quilt that mm -hmm. you get but it's a as you said it's a really <coughs> good opportunity to practice free motion if you wanted to and also susie if i just bring over yeah. the finished block keeper here that inside there's a reason why there isn't any backing on this absolutely and that's because that actually forms two pages of your block keeper yeah so the back of that so you do want to do a bit of quilting and you want it to look nice exactly. because you've got it there as well at the front and the back yep. so those are two of your leaves they are now Indeed. when we come to actually add the leaves that so you've bound yes. the edge when you add these leaves in the center yes. any special way of doing that or? I cut them a <clears> half an inch uh, an, an inch <coughs> smaller in total okay lengthwise so that when you fold a book it meets it's um, not overhanging yeah um, and then when I come to stitch them find the center point and stitch down the center and then I stitched an eighth of an inch either side but that was pure choice mm. just so that, that I know they're securely nice in, and secure. but also have a much bigger stitch length so mm. this was on four whereas normally this runs at 2.4 yeah because you've got a lot of layers going through there sure. and i had my walking foot on as well am i right in thinking as well that yeah. if you wanted yeah. just supposing you wanted to add like more leaves yeah. could you perhaps yeah. get these yeah slightly yeah. over stitch them in, like yeah. a book Absolutely. and then have your next yeah. set just next to them Absolutely. so you're not stitching you through eight yeah. layers of batting yeah and by putting your first one in the middle yeah you've then got that central placement so you could either do side. two I you could do <sighs> two either side that's a high five love it yeah it's great it's perfect um I know there are lots of block keeper ideas out there that include pockets for this that and the other but I wanted something because I, I mean, I have four of these at home mm. and I do roll mine up to yeah, store yeah. them because otherwise where else am I going to put them? Because you can't stand them up because everything fall, you know, has a tendency with gravity to migrate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, and the ties, when you make your ties, you stitch them in as you do your binding. Got you. So pin them away from your binding and as you do your binding, you'll stitch them in. It's a gorgeous project, Thank Susie. Um, great taste, by the way, and well done the people who emailed Susie originally and said, will you make that pattern? Because we've all been inspired today and I know that we'll be asking you to bring it back, Susie. <laughs> uh, it's been so, so popular. Everything has sold out. <laughs> um, really well done if you managed to get yours apologies to those of you that didn't get your patterns it's always a juggling it is a, you know yeah. decision making there about how lot. many and we'd started with a lot didn't we Susie? we did a lot yeah. lisa's emailed in with a question and lisa asks it's about batting um there it is there's a do you have do you have to edge the batting so do you need to bind it? You don't necessarily need to, but if, I, if you're not going to, you're gonna end up with the ends loose. What I, you could do, you could do a decorative stitch towards the edge to hold it, mm. or an extra row of stitching. Mm. The binding just makes it more durable with On loose. the outside of the book, yeah. yeah. But like the pages inside, do we need to do anything to finish those edges? No, those are actually, wadding doesn't tend to fray. It doesn't fray. So it is a, the perfect medium for pages. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's really cool. I mean, if you wanted to, you could get a bit of, you know, variegated thread and do a bit oh, of a stitch around the outside. Amazing. But you don't need to, you don't um, need to. The only thing, if you don't put binding on, you'll have to attach your ties 
mm. in some way. So you will need to do some form of stitching. I think the binding around the outside is essential, it finish, isn't it? It just finishes the project and makes it yeah. look. And it's, again, a great way to practice putting binding on because oh, really one is. stage you're going to be doing on a quilt. Yeah, yeah. I've got another little project I will, have, I will share with you Ooh, at some point. I'm exciting. talking about binding around the edges. You'll like it. Okay, great. Oh, Susie. Thank you. What an hour. Oh, I've really, Just brilliant. I've had such an amazing morning. Thank you, everybody. Me thank too. You. And thank you for being my first guest back. Yeah, You've no, made it an absolute so joy. I've loved it. Thank, thank you. you. And safe journey home. Do you know when you're back? I am back in a couple of weeks actually. Oh, after festival? Immediately after festival. Immediately. The 22nd I'm back in. Um, so yes, I have another new design for oh, you. Do you? Any, yeah. t any spoilers? Well, it might be a bit festive. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to go. <laughs> Might be a bit festive, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Love it. Thanks, Susie. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you at festival. See you there. <laughs> Sorry, I was making these strange noises these days. It's my age. Anyway, thanks for being part of the last hour. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, we've got Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. It's going to be very fast and furious because it's basically the last of. Liberty. See you in three minutes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, 
and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Oh, that was a lovely countdown then. It was literally, and 10, 9, oh, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> we're back, we're back for our last mm, 42 minutes or so. Um, thanks for staying with us this morning. Uh, my first day back at work, I've been away for ages and it's good to be here. Everybody that shops gets two free patterns with your purchase. It will come up as one thing in your basket, but it's actually two patterns. All right, this is our last of Liberty hour. And it's not that Liberty are closing down or that we're stopping selling Liberty, but it's just these fabrics, these designs are our last pieces. We can't replace them. So everything has got less than nine meters. As we go along, if we've got things that are severely limited, I'll let you know just so that, you know. Right, where should we start? Okay, let's start with LH69. Yummy. This is gorgeous. Now we've got five meters of this available. Gorgeous dressmaking fabric, but also brilliant for quilt making. Really, really pretty. This is Liberty, all of its Liberty quilt weight cotton, 749. We are down to our last five meters. And when it's gone, we will not replace it. Four meters left now. Beautiful. Grab that while you can, won't you? Next one is AO, let's go, 53, AO 53. Two and a half meters. So Derek, if you're watching, you could get a three meter shirt out of this. It's two and a half meters left. Two and a half meters left. Derek, I'm thinking this would make the most gorgeous shirt, wouldn't it? I'd wear that. Beautiful, lovely detail floral there. Beautiful with some denim trims, you know, binding on denim with this or a lining. Absolutely beautiful. We're down to one meter of that left. Graphics are going because that's going to go. All right, next one is K, sorry, RV84. Like, what? What? This is beautiful. There's eight and a half meters available of this, which I think is really useful because this has got gorgeous summery dress written all over it, I think. Not literally, obviously, that would be silly. Um, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Just pop my hand there for scale. So quite large scale floral there. But because it's all in one colour palette, even a large scale, it's still, it's, it's not in your face. It's subtle, beautiful, love that. How much have we got of that, sorry? Eight and a half. Hmm. I know you are. Hannah's busy laughing at her own jokes. It's really sad, isn't it, you know? But if, listen, if you amuse yourself, we're happy for you. 
Now the next one is GR59. If you knew how much trouble I take over my hands, you wouldn't say that. Right, this is really pretty. Really, really pretty. <laughs> Ah, love the combination here of the lovely china blues with that grey. It's really pretty. Really pretty. How much do we have? Two and a half metres. <coughs> Two and a half metres. This is your real classic Liberty, isn't it? Really. When I think of Liberty, I think of a print like this. Yeah, kind of ditzy floral, all over print just gorgeous you know kind of pretty little girl dress little peter pan collar little bit of rick rack or lace trim just beautiful absolutely lovely um very very little of that fabric left i'm sort of pulling fabrics at the moment that would go very nicely together because i'm thinking if you want to create yourself a little bundle then um look so far we've done this which is really rather nice and I'm going to add in this now, which I think that would make a very nice bundle, half metres if you like. Yep. Now there's seven and a half metres of this. Now again, I think that's a good thing for somebody or a few of you because that would make the most beautiful neutral background fabric for quilting. Remember, um, by a half metre of this, you'll get two free patterns if it's your first time shopping with us today. Just one offer per, per customer, of course. But um, you'll get them at random, of course. But I think this is a really pretty fabric. Lovely and soft, subtle, 100% cotton, 42 inches wide. And like I say, I think that would make a really gorgeous sort of neutral for a quilt be lovely as a background for a plique or piecing and you know does rather finish off my little blue bundle rather nicely so why not grab yourself a half meter of each while we've got these fabrics <clears throat> now let's go a bit more kind of summery florally a bit more color sj83 <coughs> excuse me Again, this is one of those quintessential Liberty prints. This is called Forget Me Not Blossom. Now, a lot went on pre-order. We've just got two and a half metres left. Two and a half metres left. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah, yeah. Little PJs, they would be beautiful. Or pyjama bottoms with a little vest top or a little T-shirt would be gorgeous. Or also, I really like the combination of Liberty print with things like cotton drill for a jacket or denim or cotton canvas. I think they work very, very nicely together. And the floral, the Liberty floral softens the look of what's quite a utilitarian fabric and makes it pretty feminine, gorgeous. Sally Ann Harrison is in next week, or uh, am I right? On Tuesday, I think, or Monday? Monday, I think, maybe. Right. Tuesday, on Tuesday. And of course, Sally Ann loves Liberty, does beautiful things with Liberty. I'm just thinking, grab some, get ahead. Um, now then, also pink, I love this, this is GM26. This has almost a sort of coral look to it. There's three metres left. <clears throat> very, very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, if I just put the last floral up against that, just so you can see that sense of how they would work together, maybe as a trim or as, you know, two fabrics in a bag, maybe. Really pretty. Just two metres left, yeah? <clears throat> Last chances, really. Last chances. Okay, more pink. This one is HV67. Little butterflies and blossoms. This is from the Carnaby collection. It's called Fluttering Floral. And again, uh, I'm thinking pajama bottoms. How much do we have of this? 
seven meters left that's it and when they're gone they're gone we won't replace any of these mm. now then let's go another quintessential liberty ij86 this is from the riviera collection love that collection that's so pretty that's sort of talky isn't it it's that lovely sort of you know the floral displays that you get at the seaside <coughs> now there's just six meters of this available you know um i remember when i did the sewing bee and lauren uh, guthrie is a massive fan of liberty fabrics and she made a skirt and she bound all of the seams inside the skirt it was an unlined skirt she bound all the seams in bias binding that she made out of liberty fabric and it was so beautiful um, to get yourself a half meter of this and then perhaps if you're making an unlined jacket and just bind all the seams inside it will just be very very pleasing indeed and that would be a beautiful fabric for doing that now then same print um, I believe yeah but in um, real kind of vintage colors kind of vintagey autumn colors uh, it no this is DK31 <clears throat> That's really pretty, isn't it? Six and a half meters of that left. And again, I'm thinking like, you know the shearing elastic or smocked dresses where you have the smocking on the bodice and then quite a full skirt made in that. Yeah, there is one in the Sewing Bee book. And actually there's one from the original Sewing Bee book because we did a shearing elastic top summer dress. This would work really well for children or for adults yeah just classic beautiful really lovely um let's go let's go back to blue nice deep navy this time eg20 yeah <clears throat> 13 units so is that seven and a half meters seven and a half meters of this one left now this one's making me think kitcheny I'm thinking of the kitchen because I'm thinking it's kind of China blues, Cornish blues. <coughs> and I'm rather wondering if things like some lovely new seat pads for the kitchen chairs would be nice. Nice piped edge. So high density foam. You can easily cut that with a pair of good strong scissors. Cut it, you know, make templates using paper dressmaking paper or even ordinary paper taped together, lay it on top of your chairs, draw around to create a template, cut that out of your high density foam and then use the same templates, add a seam allowance and cut it out from fabric. Add some little ties at the back so you can tie them onto your chairs. Very simple. Mm. Mm. Just to let you know, all of these blues, very, very popular. All but two of these have now sold out. So as you see these blues, I would grab them because they're proving very, very popular. Mm, OK, right, that's that one. Now, next one, Susie and I both love the combination of blue with some yellow thrown in. This one is SD56. And again, this is just, it's kind of a denim blue, chambray blue. It's been very, very popular on pre-order. Two and a half meters left, very little. That will go in a, in a few minutes, I'm sure. That will sell out very quickly. So grab that one while you can. Now a sort of a lighter, fresher, perhaps a bit more kind of, I'm thinking shirts here, SP71. This is flower show isn't that zingy oh there's half a meter you won't get a shirt out of that <laughs> it's gone yeah it's gone um same vein though same vein this one is dk63 oh there's a meter of this one left so again super quick for this one please that's really pretty isn't it gorgeous so fresh little um Makeup bags, quilted toiletry bags, things like that. Absolutely stunning. Makeup roll, very giftable. Now then, let's go full on flouncy floral OE26. Really pretty. <clears throat> That's going straight to the bedroom, I think. 
mixed with ivory or white you know but some lovely pillowcases and what I would do is I would have probably a six and a half inch strip along the tuck end and then have the main body of the pillowcase just in like an ivory or a cream. So half a meter would probably do you four pillowcases with just that trim down one side and then get yourself sort of two or three meters of ivory to go with it. Um, and you could also as well just create a few little throw cushions or pillows for the bedroom. It'd be so pretty or a little bit of bunting. We won't get these back by the way. We will get more liberty, of course, and I'm sure with things like the, the more, um, you know, kind of the basics, like, uh, um, well, Emily Bell, that's not finishing, is it? We'll get that back in. Oh, those colours may not come back. Okay. Okay. Glum face. HS70. Well, we've just got to take advantage now. I said it was the last of liberty. Oh, now that's lovely. It's making me feel like baby changing mat, baby bag, you know. Well, things for baby, it's just got that lovely kind of cute nursery. It's a bit 1930s as well, isn't it? Gorge, love that. How much do we have of that one left? Two meters, again, that's gonna go very, very quickly. Very popular on pre-order. Oh, this is cute. IH74. Red, white, and blue with a little bit of pink in there. There's four meters left. It's pretty. Really pretty. Be nice for dressmaking, wouldn't it? Of course, all of these fabrics are suitable for bag making and also for quilting as well. But I do like it when you can sort of cross over into dressmaking. Uh, this next one is OG. 6-3. It's really fresh. It's your quintessential wildflower meadow, isn't it? When we think of a wildflower meadow, when I think of a wildflower meadow, I think cornflowers, I think red poppies, and I think kind of buttercups. And you've got those um, plus this little maybe speedwell or something like that, this little blue flower, just pretty, lovely. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's a real nostalgia, isn't there, about a lot of these fabrics. And I think, I don't know, it's taken me back to childhood. And um, my mum and dad um, were both super, super keen on nature and flowers and wildflowers and that kind of thing. So they have real resonance for me. Now, this next one is called PE40, and it's a sort of a soft pastel version. How much, sorry? Five and a half metres. Five and a half metres. Mm. I know that's probably one of the most that we've got of any. Yummy. I love it. Now then. Uh, two more before I go to Emily Bell. Um, <clears throat> this one is GK60, some seashells. Is this a Riviera collection? We've just got two and a half meters of this. Mm, been very, very popular, this, this range and this print. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yep, lovely print to make for things like, you know, beach bags, beach cover-ups, beach mats as well, things like that. Or if you've got sort of like a um, sort of seasidey or beachy themed bathroom or bedroom, I know lots of people who have properties at the coast have kind of, you know, nods to that in their homes. That's cute. This one next is CZ30. <clears throat> this is that sort of coral print again in a mustard yellow. Three metres of that left. <clears throat> this again would be really nice in the bedroom, I think, if these colours would fit. Pillowcases or, you know, if you want to do something like just add a little bit of colour or trim in a bedroom. If you've already got a, like a ready-made dust ruffle or bed skirt, just in, say, plain white or cream or something like that, 
you could cut a strip of this fabric and obviously you'll join it because you need a sort of continuous length and then once you've got that strip I would turn in maybe a half inch seam allowance top and bottom and press it and then that that sort of strip you could then top stitch along to create a trim maybe an inch or so up from the bottom of the bed skirt and it just adds a little bit of color and then maybe if you use a little bit more of this in some cushions or pillow shams it'll just tie the whole thing together and it can just kind of uh, add a little bit of something to very plain bedding you don't always have to make everything from scratch sometimes you can embellish ready-made can't you right now Emily Bell I think I'm sure I hope we'll get back in stock but these may be colors that we don't get back in I'm not sure we're not sure but um, what I can tell you is what what I tell you we've got stock of these is all we've got in stock in the company right now and nothing's on reorder so who knows so there's a little selection there I'll just show you what we've got coming up pretty I mean they go together rather nicely as a little bundle but let's go through them right this one's about to sell out half a meter left if you're quick Oh, half a metre though, you can do some nice things with a half metre. This is one of my favourite fabrics that I've seen this year, this Emily Bell. I think it's stunning. Gone, gone, get rid of it. Cat, get it out of my sight. Other purples though, this is three zero, there's a metre left. Plum. I made plum jam this week. Oh my goodness, it's good. Last week, oh, so good, so good. I don't like bought jam. I always find it a bit cloying and a bit sickly. Yeah, I do buy Bon Maman sometimes, but more for Charlie. But homemade jam I love. Oh, you've never had homemade jam? I'll bring you a little jar. I'm going to make pear and ginger this week. FL35. It's a kind of a lovely mustard gold. Beautiful. That is lovely. Great colour that, isn't it? <clears throat> Just four metres left. Just four metres. <clears throat> Everything is going very, very quickly. Now then, the brown. This is NG04. I think that's lovely. Yeah, so <coughs> Hannah's just asking in my ear, when would you use brown? Well, gosh, I use brown in so many of my quilts. I mean, if you saw recently, I one of my quilts has been uh, acquired by the Guild, um, the Quilters Guild of the Bouchards for their permanent collection. And that is all browns and golds and rusts and deep oranges and some black as well. It's quite sort of dark, strong, dramatic colors. Um, but this brown is really softened by all of the white, isn't it? It's a very light and soft fabric too. I think this would be gorgeous for dressmaking. Of course, you can use it in your quilt making as well. And I would mix this probably with things like um, uh, warm rich colours like your kind of mustards and ochres and plums but then I might be inclined just to put in some teal or some brighter greens in there as well that will really kind of freshen everything up. One of the things I do when I'm trying to put fabrics together at home for a quilt is I will grab the fabrics whatever I'm working with you know I'll grab the fabrics and I will kind of hold them up in a bundle like this and I will just hold them out and I will look at them and I will kind of squint my eyes and stare and turn them and twist them and I'll pluck ones out or I might rearrange the order and I might add something else because often making fabrics work isn't about taking a fabric out it's about adding another fabric in because some you put that fabric in for a reason because you loved it because it sang to you okay so don't toss it out because it doesn't go with the bundle at the moment 
get another fabric in, which maybe picks up one or two of the colours or a bit more of the design and reassess. And if that still isn't working, try another fabric in those sorts of tones and you'll get there. Take some pictures, walk away, see it from afar. It'll make sense in the end or it won't. And then you take it out and you use it for something else. Yeah, give it a chance. This next one is SJ35. Beautiful, beautiful fabric this. How much do we have of this? Is there enough for a shirt? Two and a half meters, Derek, I'm thinking. You get a shirt out of that. Yeah, yeah, you have to be quick. It's lovely though, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> you know, Alice Caroline said that they would send me Liberty Lawn to make a shirt. Oh, I haven't taken them up on it. I really must, mustn't I? But then I'll have to ask somebody to make me a shirt. Oh, this is WF41. This is a really lovely soft grey. <clears throat> and again, it's just really soft and gentle, subtle pretty. <coughs> 749 per half meter. What do we have of that? Four meters left. Four meters left. That will sell out. Oh, there's 20 of them in baskets. Goodness me. Check out, check out, please. Oh, Nan's asked a question. Hi, Stuart and Susie. Good to see you back on Sewing Street, Stuart. Thank you. Uh, will Sewing Street be getting any more of Susie's block keeper patterns, please? Nan in Cardiff. Nan, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. It won't be this weekend, I'm afraid, because there isn't anybody in to ask. But we'll definitely ask the question next week. Um, I think it's safe to say, because it was so, so popular and sold out much quicker than it than we would like to sell out of any, you know, we enjoy selling out of things, but you know, given enough time, it sold out too quickly. We know we need to get it back in. We will, Nan, don't you worry, don't you worry. Now, these last two are uh, fat quarters, no? Oh yeah, these are Christmas fat quarters, but good any time of year. You get a fat quarter of the, uh, what is it called? I want to call it Winterberry, but it's not. Wiltshire Shadow, Wiltshire Shadow, thank you. But with gold metallic. <coughs> and then this lovely little sunny print. I don't know why it's a Christmas bundle. They're can oh, they are candles. Look, I saw them as little sunshine, but anyway, little candles. Four candles. <laughs> That was for you, Charlie. Four candles. Charlie says that to me all the time. All the time. Oh, we're taking a pound off. Really? 6.49 for those. You're spoiling us today, Hannah. Honestly. What do you like? It was that breakfast, wasn't it? Put you in a good mood. Now, do we still have the three Liberty Fat Quarter bundles? Ah, okay. First one then, this is the one with the reds and the pinks. Okay, so we have this in... Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna try. 16.99 for five fat quarters. Here they are. Well, that's pretty. One pack left. It's gonna go, okay. Next one, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, sorry, I've got a tickly throat now. Should have grabbed some water. <coughs> sorry. Pretty, 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 this one. Five of these left. That's nice. Lovely, five of those left. 16.99, it's a fabulous price, isn't it? but they're gonna sell out. That was my panicked voice. <laughs> oh. oh, this one's sold out. Okay, thank you, Cat. 
Oh, that's all lovely and chilled. Thank you. Hi, Stuart. Is there a pattern or a kit for the blue and white quilt behind you, Maxine and Devon? Oh, Maxine, thank you so much. Um, there isn't, but let me just tell you how easy it is to make. I, I used my um, Indigo Elements fabrics to make this quilt with. Um, <clears throat> but it's ever so easy to make. I will just need to grab a ruler quickly just to remind myself of dimensions. But basic, <coughs> basically, two and a half inch strips, they're the narrow ones, two and a half inch strips. So you've got one, two, three, four, five of those, and they correspond with top and bottom. Yeah. And then these here are four and a half inch strips. Yeah. Four and a half inch strips. And then the strips in between the white, they're one and a half inch wide. Okay. And then your flying geese up top there are four inches by eight inches finished. Now the way I made those was a four and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangle of white fabric. No, sorry, of the goose fabric. So a big rectangle of that. And then two squares, they were four and a half inches square white draw a diagonal line stitch flip press and trim the background away do that on both sides that's the easiest way to make a few flying geese and then you just sew them in a line there's a one and a half inch sashing in between top and bottom sew those together top and bottom yeah and then put a one and a half inch cut one inch finished border around and then this final outer border that is four inch border, a four inch border around the outside. So really simple, ever so easy. Hope that helps. Remember you can always watch back and scribble down. And in terms of the, the height of that, you could decide it's pretty arbitrary. Certainly is when I make anything. <laughs> Now, oh yes, now we had a phenomenally busy hour with Susie at nine o'clock for the um, Moda Nova Star Quilt kit. Uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. It should be $139.99. We're doing it just today for $99.99. You get a phenomenal amount of fabric in there to make a 54 inch by 68 inch quilt. It's a beautiful quilt, absolutely gorgeous half square triangles, flying geese, that's as hard as it gets. So it's quite beginner friendly. Um, you get 20 fat quarters. You get 20 fat quarters. You get your pattern, of course, and your pattern, you can actually make a quilt that's a crib, you can make a throw, and you can make a bed size quilt. So you get three, excuse me, three options. And then you get 20 fat quarters. So loads and loads of different fat quarters in all these beautiful blue and sort of uh, robin's egg blue, orange, rust, pumpkin. Gorgeous, aren't they? Love that one. Almost like a mustardy color. Beautiful. Get all of those. But then you also get all of your background fabric, you get your cornerstone fabric, you get your binding fabric as well included. It's a phenomenal bit of value in that kit. Such a lot of fabric, a beautiful quilt design, something that I, I would make and use in my home without a doubt. Those are so me colours. I love it. <coughs> and what's interesting as well about that quilt is that you're going to make 20 blocks, okay, it's four rows of five, and every single block is the same in terms of its construction, but how different do those blocks look? It's incredible really, the difference, you know, you've got really obvious star blocks and there are some which are less obvious and, you know, depending on where you put the fabric, you can really, really mix and match and make that look delightful. Very, very well done if you got yours earlier on. 
yeah if that's in your basket i wouldn't hang about checking out you know because i think that's going to go remember at midnight tonight it's going to go back up to 139.99 you can have split pay as well if you'd like 33.33 is all you need to pay today and we'll send the kit out and then 33.33 next month and then the final payment a month after that so spread the cost over three months if you'd like Oh, it'd be a lovely quilt to make for someone else, but I must say, I think it's a really beautiful quilt, quilt to make for yourself. I want to make that quilt now. I wanted to make it when we had it on the show before, but now I really want to make it. I think it's gorgeous. <clears throat> can we do the rainbow? We can do a rainbow. You get half a metre for free. And just a thought, the quilt that's hanging behind me with the flying geese and the bars would look stunning in a rainbow, wouldn't it? And you could even, if you wanted to, you could have the rainbow go in one way in the bars and the other way in the flying geese. Couldn't you? You could mix it. Anyway, this rainbow bundle, you get seven half metres, you're only paying for six of them, you get one of the half metres for free, which is lovely, 22.74 is a fabulous price for that, and you get, um, this is azalea pink, you get cardinal red, you get orange, very specific, you get sunshine yellow, emerald green, candy blue, and purple and those are your seven beautiful rainbow colors they're all from rose and hubble really lovely quality now if i was going to make that into the quilt that's hanging behind me i would probably go with either a light gray for the background or i might go for white that would look lovely you could use a really dark charcoal gray navy or black. I would use any of those and they'd look lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it would work really well for that, sorry. Really well for that quilt. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I don't know where to put this fabric anymore. In the back of my car, please. There we go. Right. One more time. Do, do, do. We're going to celebrate. Yeah. Now, rotating cutting mat. It's been so popular this morning. Thank you, Kat. <clears throat> it's 18 inches square and pink. Do I really need to say any more? Absolutely gorgeous. I'll just take the locks off and I'm spinning around. Move out of my way. There we go. <laughs> Stop. Beautiful, 18 inches square. <laughs> I showed earlier on just how helpful this is when you're cutting out strips, squares, triangles, trimming, hexagons, you name it. Now then, it is time for the menu for tomorrow. Here it is, here it is. So join me <coughs> from 8 a.m. We'll start with beautiful batik fabrics and then at 9 a.m., the fabulous Jenny Jackson is here with her Tiger English paper piecing cushion and tote bag. Super excited. It's going to sell out. Get ahead of the game, really. Get on early. Grab yours. At 10 a.m., we've got sewing room tools. Well done, Bruce. That all looks beautifully spelled. At 11 a.m., foundation paper piecing diamonds are forever. Quilt with Jenny Jackson. It's not the last time I'll be doing that. I'm just going to warn you. And then at 12 o'clock, we have got the mother of all clearance fabrics hours. You're going to love it. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Now, just so you know, the 12 o'clock clearance fabrics will not be going on pre-order. You've got to be there to be in it, just to give everyone a fair chance. So everything else will go on pre-order at the start of the day, so you can get ahead with your Jenny Jackson, but those clearance fabrics will go live at 12. You need to be there with me. We'll be doing live crashes. Um, 
in the nicest possible sense. It'll be rapid, it'll probably be vapid, and it'll certainly be fun. So I will see you tomorrow. It's been a gorgeous first day back. It's flown by. I'm ready for a lie down and a wet towel over my face. I will see you tomorrow. For the rest of the day, please do have fun. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you in the morning. Be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!